husband do over here? I oh, I think he was just checking my water bottle. My water bottle. All right. Piss. Oh my god, that was sloppy. That was sloppy on me. <sighs> Hope the games are going well. I mean, they're going... I'm not going to say, well, we're on, our, we're on our last fight. We're going to finish this thing up. And then i got to figure out what I'm going to play after this. But, uh, but for right now, let's just, let's just focus on getting this thing done. I'm telling this guy where to fucking shove it, because... bit intense, yeah. Well, you know, and he won't stay put either, so he's... Damn it! Cheeky fuck! Man, I wish there were heals somewhere along the way. Uh, no, it's not my first, uh, ever. Uh, I did do a 24-hour stream a while ago, um, when, uh, my dog had a heartworm and I was trying to raise some money for, uh, his, his treatment. But, um, more glad I raised you then. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate it, yo. I really do. Okay, let's see if we can't not fuck this up. Nope. Damn it! Ah! Yeah, y'all, I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you guys so much for coming in. And uh, I'm just gonna apologize, because, like, I don't play games because I'm good at them. I play games because I like them. Uh, but I'm not good at games. So, he's trying to get too, too agonized about this. So far, so good. Oh, cheeky dick fuck. Alright. Now let's not fuck this up if we can help it. Nope. Play conservative. Take one shot. Don't get greedy. Nope, that got greedy. <sighs> I got greedy. I should not have gotten greedy, and I did. shooting at him though because then I gotta swap my stuff around. 
It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. We'll get there. We'll get there little by little. Well, took that one in the face. gonna try to get this. Don't like how much damage I've already got, but I need to I need to not be greedy like that. Piss. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, just rub it in, just keep stomping on my ass. That's fine. That's fine. No, we're absolutely gonna retry this. We're gonna we've got this. We've got this and we're gonna take it and Ah, uh, that psychs me out when I start with damage. It's alright. Nope, we're just gonna start over. This is gonna, it's gonna psych me out. I feel like it's gonna make me go through all three areas to chase his ass all through all three areas. Shit! Off the fucking side, of course. Ah. So I might as well have just taken damage there. Fuck it. Nope. 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 Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it when I. We can do this. We can do this. We got this. By the ass. Look here, you cheeky fuck. Oh, love, thank you. Y'all, my incredible spouse just brought me bagels. Like, toasted with cream cheese and everything. Am I? Oh my god, they're still warm. I'm the most spoiled person ever. I told the spouse we had a 24 hour stream, and they have been on this shit like white on rice. They brought me some chips and queso earlier. Man. I am loved. Okay. Don't get greedy. into this one with full health. Okay, I got greedy. Shit! Ah! 
God damn it! Squandered! Squandered! Fuck. Get back here. was that? That was new. Squander this one. Maybe that might be a, another way to go, but I was wrong. Okay. <laughs> and he brought, and I was brought some Swiss rolls. Swiss rolls. All right. All right. Hmm. I'm okay at the moment, but thank you.
All right. Oh God, not this. Shit! Ah! Piss baskets. Ever yeah, do it again? Taking some of Betty's moves too. Which is annoying. All right, here we go. So we can do enough damage to make that go two rounds. All right, <clears throat> all right. We're getting there. We're getting there closer. We're getting closer. Little by little, we're gonna get there, and then we're gonna kick this fucker in the face, because I am done with this shit. World hopping dick nugget. Oh, <laughs> 
you any hits. Sonic is better than a biscuit. <laughs> It made me chuckle so hard. <laughs> swear while I can before someone redeems the part where I don't get to. Damn it. No. Oh, that's. You know what? Nope. 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 It's too early. It's too early. I'm not gonna do it. I'll just start over. Alright. I know this feeling, right? Alright, here we go. You damn cock magnet. I am done with your bullshit. anymore. Don't oh, mad! Oh, man. I'm going to enjoy smashing his face into the dead. Get back here, you son of a fuck. I right, just keep there with your little cowboy hands. See, I was going to get you. But one of you oh, man, I must walk off the edge. That would be a problem. But I'm telling you. One of these moments, I'm gonna get your ass. I am too. It's gonna happen. My darling love has refilled my water bottle because they're amazing. <clears throat> oh. Oh. And they brought me Swiss rolls. So, like, I mean, much less like art. Alright. 
fucking go. Yeah, the little chocolate cakes that are rolled up and they're covered in like hard like chocolate. I'm sorry, boo. I, I ate them. Yeah, Tyr is over here asking me for some. If anybody wants to redeem cookie for Tear Bear, now is a great time to do it because he's literally right here. Isn't that right, boo? Cutting on the outside. Yo, me too. When I have time, I will literally just peel them. Alright, I figured I'd just pause a second and see if anybody wanted to redeem Cookie for Tea Bear. If not, that's fine. We'll keep on going. <sighs> Here we go. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Baskets. Shit. Anyway. Oh! I rolled too early. Too early of a roll? God damn it. Alright. I muted myself because I know you guys do not need to. Y'all don't want to hear me blowing my nose in your ear. That's just no good. Now, I particularly like them, uh, the Swiss rolls, when you shove them in the microwave for 10 seconds and then you put some vanilla ice cream on top and it is fucking glory. No! Oh man! I almost went straight off the edge. That would have been a problem. I would have been very pissed at myself. Oh, yeah, it is good shit. A little bit of uh, chocolate and caramel syrup. That is the shit right there. Alright, don't get greedy. Me. Two bits, perfect. Three bits. Three bits. Next three bits have to be perfect. God fucking damn it. I don't know if I can. Nope. 
Nope. Nope. Ah. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Oh, yeah, because the thing is, is that, like, it gets just a little, like, the cake part gets just a little crusty. So it's got this really nice crunch to it. It's the shit, yo. I mean, yeah, of course you eat them, like, straight out the pack, too, because that's delicious, but I'm just saying, if you've got the time to treat yourself a little bit, I'll piss. Fuck it. I gave up. I'm not gonna lie. I let myself die. I just eat this straight out. I mean, yes. So yeah, absolutely eat them straight out the pack. But also, they can be turned into something. It's like ramen noodles, man. You can turn it into some incredible shit. Buy a box to try them warm. Yeah, I, I, I think that is an excellent, excellent idea. Just make sure you have the ice cream too, because I mean, <clears throat> I mean, you don't need to have the ice cream, but it is. Man, you're in for a treat with that ice cream. I'll tell you what. Okay. All right. <sighs> Don't get greedy. We can do this. Fuck yes. Okay. All right. We got a shot at this, folks. Okay. Grapple is equipped. Let's do this. Do not squander this, me. Do not squander this. We, uh, we squandered it. Oh my god. You run away!
Oh! No, I ran off the edge. basket. Cat, we can do this. We can do this. Don't get greedy. greedy. Just do the thing. to me right now. No rolling off the side! <laughs> I'm shaking, y'all! I'm fucking shaking! Oh, man. Alright. Conservative. Be conservative. Don't get greedy.
Why are we here, Crow? Why do I exist? To follow in the footsteps of the lords before me? To repeat the same things over and over? To what end? What is the point? We all have to die eventually. I suppose we'll never know. I will never know. Because I will never die! What are you doing? Buddy? Boss? Boss? No boss. Bad boss. Oh no. Oh no. The last lord. Please give me full heals. Please don't make me go through all that again. Okay, well at least we have that. Piss baskets! <laughs> no! Oh my... Fine. This is goddamn fine. Oh man. Yeah, this is not going well at all. This is fine. This is fine. Hey, um. Yeah, that went very poorly. That was very poorly done, me. Alright, we lasted longer than before. God damn it, this is gonna be another five hour fucking death boss battle. Oh, cause he's gonna have shit tons of health. I don't know how to get through that that slowed thing. It's like you almost have to plan to take damage there, but uh all right. All right. We just got to DPS him. We got to get in there, get aggressive, do the thing. <laughs> So he does lead a little bit. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. We'll get this. 
Maybe it was a little too aggressive at first. This is fine, but we gotta we gotta lay on the DPS. Like gotta bring this fucker down. Oh no. Seriously? That's not how that's supposed to work. You're supposed to... Mm -hmm. I thought it would have mattered anyways. I'd have been fucked there anyhow. Man, this is rough. Once again, I'm not good at games. I'm just... Uh, I am having fun. Okay, got a little greedy there. can dodge it somehow <laughs> not like that though all right that's fine that's fine that's fine we know it can be dodged I'm not certain how we dodged it but it can be dodged I just have to right down under him is where it really... Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Alright. Alright. Little by little, we're seeing how to dodge that thing. So, that's fine. We're, we're learning. We're learning things. Oh, 
Seriously. if I'd go quite that that far but um <sighs> all right come on come on come on <laughs> Okay, didn't quite start moving fast enough. That's fine, that's fine. <sighs> We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We're doing fine. Lasting longer each time. Well, longer-ish. Ugh. Come on. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Sorry, Sonia, I didn't mean to. No dance break at the moment. Try not to die. going strong yeah yo uh bex went ahead and redeemed that 24 hour stream so yeah we are we are absolutely going um let me know if you feel like starting in shrouded a little early because <laughs> uh Ams was mentioning that uh you might be able to do that too Oh, you dick. Dirty pool, sir. Fuck you. <sighs> Might need a little bit of a nap after work. they feeling bad. No, that's fair. That's fair. I saw you got hit with the 24-hour stream last night. Okay, I wasn't certain if you saw that or not. But yeah, we're still going. We are still going, trying to beat this last fucking boss. <laughs> Oh, bullshit move, sir. Okay. 
baskets. Yeah. That's fair. <sighs> this guy's fucking rough. It's kind of hoping that it'd be like a little bit of a bitch boss fight, you know, it's so like it's then be like, oh man, you weren't nothing but no. Why? I'm not even gonna bother. I thought I had figured out how to dodge that thing, but now it's not working as well, so... Ah, uh, Sonia, thank you so much for the gift sub. Appreciate you. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> it's alright. That was our best run yet. Shit! Ah, I hit the button like I was gonna do a ranged attack and I fucked that up. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. That one was that one was one hundred percent my fault. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Not as good of a place as I'd like to be for this, but that's okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh shit. Ah. That roll, man. That well, everything about this is difficult. This is fine. This is fine. We're gonna get this. We'll be fine. Got this. Here we go. Piss, that was on me. God damn it, I rolled into the thing. Son of a gun. It's alright. We're gonna get there. Either I just have to get good or I gotta get lucky. Man, the latter is more likely than the former, but... Uh... That did not work as well as I wanted it to, but that's fine. Where are you fucking? Nope, I got greedy. <sighs> Do you need my punching bag to relieve stress? Nah, I just need to. I just need to get better at this. That's okay. We'll get it. <clears throat> got all. I still got plenty of time. I'm gonna be streaming here yet for a hot minute, so we'll be fine. We got this. <laughs> yes. Okay. Didn't quite get out of there in time. That's fine. It's all right. It's all right. Been here with worse. Got me. Amp! Yo! Oh my gosh, so many gift subs. Bless your fucking heart, yo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're the best, yo. I appreciate you. Thank you so damn much. Alright, here we go. So just when he squats down to start that is when I gotta is when I gotta do the thing. It's when I gotta start moving. Yes.
Aw, oh, damn it. Got me with the bitch slap. It's alright, we are getting there. That took two hours with my credit card company. Oh my god, they hate Twitch. Ah! Oh, safe space. Oh shit. Okay, let me let me get you real quick, HR, since we got a since we got a pausey bit. Let me uh let me get you taken care of here. Where is? There it is. Okay. All right, HR, I got you. You are all... Oh, Amp, let me get you too. Got you too, yo. Don't know what that is, but I did... Oh, oh, shit, are you not on the Safe Space Discord? Yo, if anybody in chat wants to uh, drop that that link, please feel free to do so. Okay, I didn't keep going in the same direction. Oh, man. It's all right. It's all right. We got this. Got this. Eventually, eventually we'll get this. I hope that time is soon because I'm getting tired. I'm getting real tired of this boss fight. Nope. Didn't quite. Didn't quite get out of there. That was not a good run. That was a bad run there. Point to point, just want to support. Also, you got this. I hope so, man. I'm getting, I'm getting real tired of this boss fight. Shit! Nope, that did not. I rolled too soon. Ah, I got my second one after being on hold for two hours. I want to see you beat this. I want to see me beat this too. I just don't know if I'm gonna. Oh man, I don't know if I'm good enough to pull this off. I mean, I'll keep throwing my head against it.
God damn it. Okay. All right. Head against a brick wall, right? Yeah, it feels like it. Oh, my my WASD hand is Oh man, it is it is in a shape. I'd like him to be, but... getting there. We're getting closer, but not as good as I'd like to be. All right, come on, fucking let's do this. Damn it, I rolled too soon. <sighs> that was the closest one we've had so far. Can you see the boss's health? So the so n kind of in that how many you see how it gets like those little pink streaks in it? That's the more pink the better. The more pink they are, the more damage they are.
No! Damn it! Ah! I know, so damn close, so close. But he's not. Okay, get some more water. He was smashing his head against. He should die and win, right? God damn it. Well, yep, nope, that was not even close. Not even close. It's alright. I know I'm getting greedy, but I gotta get that. I gotta get the deeps on him. If you walk away for two minutes, you'll beat it first try. I doubt that, to be honest. Um. <laughs> I think I, I start thinking I know what the trick is, and then, no, I don't.
greed consumes, it does. You're not wrong. It sounds stupid, but it works. Yeah, but I don't want to walk away. Alright, alright, let me just give it two more tries. Two more tries. And if that's the case, then yeah, we'll, 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 we'll pause it for a few minutes. So close. I was so close. I'm gonna try again. Yo, no, what's up? Y'all ready for this?
Nope, that was it. Ah, good morning! I got eight kills and off myself to fall damage. I'm done playing. Who's gonna watch me? Ah. Oh no. Good morning, Nova. How you doing? Oh shit. these fucking extra cows or bulls or whatever the fuck they are going strong doing things we're here for 24 hours so let's so here we go we go we're doing the thing <laughs> dick oh you son of a cunt Damn ass basket. And thank you so much for the uh oh shit, HR gets a gift sub. Thank you so much for doing those. Yep. Did not get there. It's alright. It's alright. We got this. Wrong one, but HR deserves it too. Hell yeah. I appreciate you, man. I really do. I'm just running into the laser at this point. I've <sighs> yeah, not with all that not with all that damage going into it that early. Mm -mm, that's not gonna last. <laughs> Oh, 
Greedy. <laughs> I'm fighting for two hours. I'm trying. <laughs> Didn't <he> give. <laughs> And I'm hearing my dog. Is he whining? I'm just gonna move this back a minute. Out of my ear. <clears throat> yes, yep, I got it. Amp Energy, thank you so much for the gifts of Denova! Oh gods. Nope, that's it. Yay! Amp Energy, you are incredible. Holy shit, thank you so much. Thank you so damn much. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. not certain how that like I, every time I think I've got it figured out Which made me write it again. <laughs> ah, all right.
Lee, what is up with these last minute? <sighs> to re add my info? Really? Why? That's so weird. Did they say why they did that, Amp? <laughs> You had to get a parting shot in there. I'm not banned. It's on Twitch. Playing Liza P one time, like literally, there's this one boss I could not defeat. Just an hour trying to beat it, and somebody says, "If fuck it, uninstalled the game." Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's. But this is the last boss, so like, if I can just get this one. <laughs> Damn it! Fucking... <sighs> so fucking close. If I went through, Zola, my gift subs went through. <laughs> I'm not familiar with Zola. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm so fucking unbearable this year. Ever since I started streaming, they literally like they've been on my ass constantly. Really? 
What for, Nova? Seriously? Fuck you. <clears throat> Today we mourn the passing of a being who shaped the very fabric of our world. The end of a lineage. The last lord of doors. <sighs> to some, they were a mysterious leader. And for the next 11 hours, to others, a dark cloud looming over the world. Driven by a desire to be greater than their creator. Hold on, we'll look into that in a second. Let's just enjoy the moment for a moment, okay? They will be remembered for their part in the advancement of door technology. Their ability to maintain order in a dying world. and their unwavering determination to evade death, no matter the cost. <sighs> okay. So there's the door. There's, their pursuits may have been unwise, but the will to live is deeply ingrained. Who is to say what any of us would have done given the same choices as the Lord? Yo, thank you so much for the <laughs> for the gifts of Amp. 
Ah, bow your head in remembrance, pay your last respects. Their time in this world is over. Please, fuck yes. Get that shit out of here. <sighs> Welcome, the Cactus Keyed. Appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Well, you beat it. Can't leave you without another sub. <laughs> Oh, hell. Okay. All right. <sighs> All right, guys. Give me just a second. Tear Bear is fussing something fierce. So, Tear Bear, come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You, you gotta? Okay, well, come here first. You guys want to see Tear? Shall we give him a, a freebie cookie? Come here, buddy. And then, and then I gotta let him go potty. I am gonna have to put him out. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Give me just a second. Let me uh get over here. We're gonna grab this. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Tear Bear, and here's him getting a special cookie. Yeah, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's my sweet bear? That's you. Yes, it is. Oh man. Guys, thank you guys so much. I will be back in a second, and then we'll decide what we're going to go to next. But I'm going to let the pupper out real quick. Um, then I will be, I'll be right back. Been banned before, unfortunately, the time for the absolute. Wait, what? Hold on, what am I missing here? An all nighter? Oh no. Yeah, and you better get some rest. Seriously, you don't. You don't need to. You ain't needing to. What is so? Wait, so now do we have things to say here? Well done, friend. Never doubted you for a sudden. Take some time for the world to heal. Blah blah blah. Not that it matters, because we're done here. Okay. Alright. 
How do I, how do I exit? Ah, return to title screen. Okay. A fireball watching you fall. <laughs> so, all right, so I've got another energy drink, so we'll be fine here. Now we just gotta decide where we wanna go from here. belching for a minute. So actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and exit it. I'm um, going to flip over to uh, full face mode. Sorry, y'all. And come take a look over at Steam. See what we got. There are many. We've got lots of options. Uh, lots and lots of options. So many options. Oh shit, I was gonna grab my phone too. Give me just a hot second. What brand you drinking? Uh, Venom. Venom is what I'm drinking. This is like, and this is my favorite flavor too. The mango is fucking delicious. Also, for the record, mixes very well with rum. Very well. Add, uh, Rage and Orange Cream. Mmm. Uh, guys, let me grab my phone real quick. It should be done charging. Um, in the meantime, never heard of Venom. It's, you know, I, I hadn't, I've only found it in a couple of stores in, like, this little hole-in-the-wall corner store that is near my house. And, um, it's, like I said, it's delicious. They have it in, they also have it in Black Cherry and Tropical Punch and Kiwi Strawberry. I'm not a big fan of strawberry-flavored things. Like, I like strawberries, but... Not strawberry flavored things. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, so here's the thing. Um, we have so many options. So here's what I want you guys to... Uh, we're going we're gonna to do a, a poll here. Um, if we want to play something that is fantasy or sci-fi. Um, we'll start there. And let's see, maybe something that, yeah, it's a search. Oh, yeah, it's good stuff. It is really good stuff. Oh, shoot, who just, who just, somebody just dropped a follow. Alpmiz, thank you so much for the follow, yo. Appreciate you. All right, let's see. What's I going to do? I was going to see if I can, see if I can do a fancy poll thing. I don't know if I can or not, but we're going to, we're going to try. We will see if I can make this work. Um, they have an hour to figure out your next 11 hours. <laughs> right? Oh, let's see. Do, 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 Nope, that's not it. Do, 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 that's not it. Do, 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 where the heck am I going? Whispers, reward requests, suspicious user activity. All right, fuck it. I'm just going to say, in want to follow when you were locked in. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. All right, I tell you what, guys. Here's what we're going to do. Um, in the chat, please type either fantasy or sci-fi. And then, um, actually, hold on. Before we do that, before we do that, back up. Uh... Sci-fi. Okay, nope. We're already we're already going. We're already going. All right. So, sci let's start with there. Fantasy or sci-fi, and then I'll be right back. Grab my phone. God, my hair is just. Ooh, all right. We are seeing bunches of sci-fi. Okay, okay. All right. The next question we need to ask is, do we want to go RPG or survival crafting? That's the next thing we need to decide.
Rob? RPG, RPG, okay, RPG, okay, we got one vote for the RPG. What's up, CC? RPG. All right. <clears throat> so let me take a look and see what I got here for, uh, let's see, can we, so you're looking for RPG? And... Why does it not say sci-fi? Silly. Okay! <sighs> well... No, you're good. You're good. You're good, Amp. You're good. I guess... I guess that means we're playing Mass Effect. BRB, you gonna make breakfast keep you tad? Appreciate you, Nova. Thank you so much. Whew. Had to kill five people and have to all die from fall damage. Yeah, Mass Effect. All right. <clears throat> but it, what is why sign in? Oh, for f sake. What? Give me a second, having some having some issues getting into my EA account to be able to play the Goram game. Bear with me. We'll get there in a second. Nope, never mind, there it is. Here we are. Okay. Whew. Alright. Is there a reason you're not finding the game capture there thing? Huh. I wonder why it's not picking up Mass Effect. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, a specific window. Is that it? That's not it. There we are. Oh, good. Now it's all kitty wampus with its sizing. This is fine. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Fall damage happened to me yesterday. It fell right off the bridge because my. Oh, no! I jumped off a cliff and died. <laughs> Fuck my life. No! Nine kills. I saw two people fighting, jumped to my death trying to get to them. Ahem. Amp, I feel you. I feel you. I've been doing a lot of that on my own. Alright. The other thing that I am going to do now that I've got my phone is we're going to set an alarm to check on the dog um, for 30 minutes just because I want to make sure that you know, we don't want to leave him outside unattended for too long. Alright. We're just gonna we're just gonna start a new game. So here we go. Okay, here we go. It's all black. Why is it all black?
Okay, that's not doing it. What's going on? There we go. Here we go. All right. Starting a new character. Here we go. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Thanks. Classified information requested. Okay. Establishing <clears> secure <throat> connection. Okay. Secure connection confirmed. Okay, great. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Thank you so much for the safe space salute. Appreciate you. Alrighty, so for some reason, up oh, to close that real quick. And hey, what's up, Tai Show? Thank you so much for the safe space. Oh. Uh, we are we're at Jane Shepard. Please log in to access your profile. Uh, Jane is fine. Profile reconstruction complete. Okay. Whatever reason, we're not seeing... Somebody just did a thing. Oh, hi, voice! Oh, good. Oh, good. All right, hold on one second. <clears throat> Let me set a timer. Excellent! Here we go! Just randomly spending points. No, 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 that's fine! That's fine! We got this! We can do this! We can do this all for five minutes anyways. We can do this. This is fine. This is fine. Um, so for whatever reason, my chat's not showing up on my actual screen. So I feel like we're gonna need to. Whoop! Nope! 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 Let's let's Profile do this. Profile reconstruction complete. Yeah, that. That. Why can I? Real quick, Taisho, which one is it? The uh, counter spell for the high voice or the no speaky words? Profile reconstruction complete. I don't wanna, but how do I? I don't wanna just do so. Hey, no. Or we'll just cancel everything. That's fine too. <laughs> Fantastic. Log in to access your profile. Okay, so yeah, we got this. So I got my, I've got, I've got the first name. Profile reconstruction complete. How do I select bonus talent? Why? Log in why are we just going straight to enter new ID? Fuck this shit. Custom female. Heck. Please log in to access your profile. Okay. Next. Here we go. Now we can set a freaking thing or what's it? Whoa. <sighs> Data corruption detected. Oh good. Please reconstruct profile. I will reconstruct profile here in a second Confirm once I. pre-service history. <sighs> All right. Um, Petty Grime and Underworld Gangs are enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Raised on the 16. Oh. Um, we're a colonist. Confirm psychological profile. <laughs> Probably wrong. Had to overcome physical. Let's tell the tale. Sure, we'll go soldiers. Military specialization. Okay, so we've got soldiers that are good for friendly to combat, health, blah blah. blah. Engineers are tech specialists using holographic omni tool. They can decrypt security systems. I don't know how I know that. Biotic specialists. Man, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Combat and tech to specialize in killing or just living at long range. Biotic and weapons. I think we'll go infiltrator. 
let's go sneaky. Confirm sure. facial identification. Hey! Let's change our appearance, shall we? Facial structure. Let's cycle some presets. Oh, that's cute. Like that too, honestly. Let's change the hair a little bit, but. Oh, wait, that's color. I just really like the eyeshadow. Ponytail is nice. Okay, cool. Right at, right at. So hard to find curly hair. Nobody does curly hair. Maybe it's just hard to do, I don't know. I do kind of like the dark black lipstick. I like the blue stuff too, though. I wonder, hold on. Can we match the eyeshadow to that? Kind of. I don't know if I like that. I like that, though. That's nice. All right. I iris color Barky barky bear out there. Scar? We can have scars. That's the Cullen scar. Oh, wait, there's the Cullen scar right there. Eh, maybe we'll just go without Scar. Okay. That'll work. Profile reconstruction complete. Excellent. Alright. My dog's going nuts outside. Let me go grab him real quick. Sorry, uh, Taisho, I just saw the redeem. Uh, yes, I have eaten. We're, we're good. We're good at the moment, but thank you for double checking.
Okay, we are back. Sorry. Uh, we had to do morning cheese because it's morning and that means that it's, we do morning cheese when we come in in the mornings. It's very important. Morning cheese is incredibly important. So, uh... Alright, let me kill the timer. Let's go! Identification confirmed. Legendary mode. When the one talent points for extra, they assume the number of levels is doubled. I like that. Okay. Here we go. Jake, well, you have to change your game title. Oh, Shepard? yeah, thank you. She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Yes. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. There you go. Thank you, Nova, for letting me know. Appreciate you. Whew. What I'm making. Ooh, what you making, Nova? Um, Calculating transit mass and destination. I fucking love the music for this game, by the way. It is gorgeous. Relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. Uh, hot wings. Oh, All stations secure for transit. So, on a level of 1 to 10, 1 being no spice at all, 10 being, oh my god, come to Jesus salsa. What, uh, what's the level of spice? That we're doing here with the hot wings, I'm getting all like. Board is green. My mouth is all watery. Just thinking about begun. it. Hot wings for breakfast? Ah, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you were. I miss. I miss what you said. That's fair. Yeah, hot wings aren't any time food. Spicy food isn't any time. Isn't any time food. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Beautiful. Drift, just under 1500k. Yay. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Hooray! I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. Hmm. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. <gasps> they have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is High the spice tolerant. story. Mm -hmm. Only an idiot believes the official story. Mm. Well, I can't say I disagree. And they don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting off. Joker, status report. Uh, Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already, already thanks, I shall appreciate the lurk. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. Oh, good. You get that, Commander? Is he, uh, upset? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> ah, press.
press escape to open the journal and view your updated mission objectives. Okay, prologue on the Normandy. Speak to the captain. That seems simple enough. Sure, we'll figure this out eventually. Where am I supposed to go? It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. Is this where we're supposed to be? Yes? Maybe? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Where's Captain Anderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. Oh, okay, good. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. Omelette, um, sausage, beautiful. and garlic bread. Mm, yum. Yum. I see the sun now. I'm scared. Sun's been sun's been here with me for a few for for a hot minute. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? What are you getting at? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Mm -hmm. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. <laughs> Shocking. Sorry, guys. My got stuff digging into the side of my finger. All right. <laughs> figured that much. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. So why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top. Command. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. Calm Our down there. research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. Okay. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. I but see. Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Okay. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery <laughs> could affect every species in Council space. You sound concerned. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Hmm. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate it. I'm sorry, for... Wait, what? Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. Mm -hmm. We want more say with the Citadel Council. Okay. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Wait, what? Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Wait, you did what? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Captain, you're cool with this? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. Yeah, don't fuck it up, I get it. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. Oh, good. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Why is this beacon so important? 
All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Sorry, wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. Mm. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. Hmm. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. <clears throat> Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. All right, well, sounds Just give me. the word, Captain. <clears throat> we should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Oh. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! out after that no calm traffic at all just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 the fuck is that status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Captain, what the fuck is that? Captain. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. <laughs> I got some fireball Going waiting for me straight for the dig mm. site. What about survivors, Captain? Had 20 Helping arcs, survivors is a secondary <laughs> objective. The Second beacon's place. your top priority. Approaching drop point one. <sighs> okay, well. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. All right. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Don't fuck Good it up. Luck. Yep. We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Okay. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Jenkins? Oh, God. What happened here? Mm hmm. Oh, God. What happened here? Hold left. Shift to switch weapons. You drop another left click on weapons icon. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Guess I'll keep going till you get home. Oh, I won't be here until later, lol. What?
Well. Rip right through his shields. We're out of chance. Nope. Oh, it's Fortnite's fault. No one to carry. He deserves a burial. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, ma'am. All right, well. Where the hell are we supposed to go? Minagel is needed to heal injured squad members. Minagel can be used to bypass the encryption. Uh, Wolf can be acquired to detain enemies and opening containers. Okay. Use V to use Minagel to press. Is it. Is he injured? What's. No, I guess so. Okay. Access the squad screen for your team's talents. Okay. Oh, I've got stuff to do. Well, Got two, okay, that's fine. Um, sure, that just saves it, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Left shift, to, left shift to issue orders to Claude Z's attack here. He has it's here, your pupil. Okay. So. Q or E to send a squad mate ahead, C to call him back. Jesus. The flying fuck? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one in charge here, ma'am? 
Yeah, you are. Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What happened to your unit? <clears throat> Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. Oh. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. All right, we got him. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Mm -hmm. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Let's go. Move out! Okay, press escape to go to the squad to... Okay, so so we can go. So let's see she now has... Right, right, because she has things. Um... That keep them. Yep. Okay. Cool. The beacons at the far end of the trench. I don't know what all this is, but we're gonna take it. Escape button. Wait, what? Okay, well, looks like that's that. Run to the rape waypoint and take cover behind the rock. Oh, right, that thing. Move to the edge of cover and press left mouse button to fire. Hold right mouse button to lean out and aim. right mouse button to pop up and aim from behind. Wait, what? Gotcha. G to throw a grenade hold space part and move. Storm forward rapidly while in combat, okay. I see. Press F to melee attack. I'm sure that's fine. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. Hmm. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Any you think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky, maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. No, we'll give it a shot. Up the ridge, up the ramps. Plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Okay. 
I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay. Indeed. The upgrade kit. Ah. Guess we'll take everything for right now. Might as well take all the things. Door can totally use that decryption. Door. It's closed. Security locks engaged. All right. Some lines. Sure, let's give it a shot. Oh, right, this this nonsense. Okay. Hey, there we go. Phew. Hi. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Uh, what happened? How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. Dog has it was moved parts. to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. Mm -hmm. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. <laughs> Soon, <laughs> only ruin and corpses will remain. <clears throat> Soldiers drank, reproduced, got impaled. <laughs> um... Audio What's wrong okay? with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. You say so. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? Bit. To understand there is no escape? Yes. No hope? Yes. No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. You look like it. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, oh, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him. The prophet. Leader of the enemy. He was here. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Cab. And the beacon? Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? <laughs> we have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Okay. Uh, Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Kill the fuck out there, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Okay, so wait. Uh, ah, there's the exit. Wait. 
stuff. Take all that. So then... Do we have better stuff now? Uh... Better damage for sure. Well. I don't know if that's actually any better or not, but we'll see. How does this compare to what you got? Uh, yeah. There you go, honey. I'm also going to be using my snipper whiffle anyway. Okay. Sure, this works. Where the hell are we going? Whoop. Cutscene. Saren. Midas. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. That's not good. That's not good. That's bad. What is that? Off in the distance. This is a ship. Look at the size of it. <laughs> everything right sure sure it is <laughs> deciding if I want to redeem my no no we don't we don't do we're not doing that we're not doing that because um that I'm sorry guys I can't I cannot do a 48 hour like 24 is gonna be that's gonna be that and I'm sorry and these these don't commander it's not us oh fuck Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. Who the hell are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? My name's. I'm sorry. I was hiding <laughs> from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Wait. What? I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. That's possible. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard Burr. down. And Saren killed him. 
shot him right in the back. I'm, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Then what? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. Fair enough. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> wow. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Okay. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. Mm. I've never seen anything like it before. Kill Ashley. <laughs> it was huge. Landed over near that platform. She's the kind whole of a place bitch. got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Mm. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. All right, well, fine. Bad at. That's everything. What the fuck are you guys still shooting at? Oh. Okay, head out. No scope, but I'm fine with that. I feel like I should. Is there a save? There is a save!
a killer in a killer in Mass Effect 3. Eh, that's fair. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Have us. Now what? been done. Do I need to go back to the Alright, now what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm so confused. Where do we go now? Not going forward. Alright. Go this way. I'm glad this part isn't timed. I don't know where the hell I'm going.
that in a second. Beacon. Dragon Age Man Effect, my favorites ever. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I I tried no, playing I mean, Mass Effect before. I didn't particularly enjoy it, but uh, that's okay. This is what chat voted on, so this is what we're playing. Like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger Normandy, standing by. Caden, what are you doing, you dumb shit? Caden? Caden? It's busted. That's a problem. Played Mass Effect before Dragon Age. Blasphemy. How could you not like this game? <laughs> I mean, I. I'm sorry. I'm a Dragon Age person. I've never been much one for one. Like, I don't generally tend to go too much for sci fi, but that's okay. We're, I mean, we're, I'm giving it. I'm giving it an honest try. We I'm not complaining. The, ship that down on Eden Prime. the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Calm the fuck down there, Betty. This human must be eliminated. Okay, cool. Hello, loops. <clears throat> I play Mass Effect. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas. I think she's waking up. Hi. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Uh, you know, um, happened. How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. So what happened to the beacon? Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Oh, Williams good. and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Oh. Was... What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine, but I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also Damn right it was your fault, Katie. Some of the best voice actors, too. Science typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction, nothing's really clear. Okay, guys, hold on. Put these fingernails, because they are getting in my nerves. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. Hey, what's up, sir? How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear you. Hey! Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Oh, good. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Don't worry. He won't. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I mean, okay is, uh... That's a way to put it, I suppose. Ah. Drop the nail. Feel a little bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. So what about Williams? 
Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Excellent. Okay. Come on, fingernail. Herc. There we go. Alright. Well, good. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Hmm. <laughs> I'm kind of pissed about the geth, though. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Somebody could have. Hell, but you wanted to talk? You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. Well... To be fair, we don't really have anything to hide. So, uh, let's... I guess, go with that? Got nothing to hide? Sure. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. Ah. It's Saren. That other Turian. And about Saren's it. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. Really? But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. Hmm. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Sorry, say again. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. Are you sure? You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Well, there was this... Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? Hmm. A vision of what? Maybe a warning? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. If I don't disagree with you. Oh, man. So what should we say? What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. Hmm. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. Mm. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We can expose him. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. Theoretically. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Alrighty. Let's do it. This way? Yes? Glad to see you're okay. Hey, Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. You holding up all right? Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. Well, you helped. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Eh, he'll definitely be missed. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. Aw, thanks. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. 
Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. They poisoned your food, Caden. <laughs> sessions out of the Alliance. <laughs> Donate money to the university at. You've got a good grasp of the situation. Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? Uh, we were just farmers. My family were homesteaders on Mindwar. I'm the only one left. But I've moved beyond Many, that. Uh, they hunted me down. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? <sighs> we can brief the, the council. The hopes the ambassador can get an audience with the council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Well, Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. We're good. Where the hell am I going? Talking to Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Hey! Oh, you got something stuck in my eye. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Right. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Is an outrage! What? The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. Wait, what? What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Well, so much for that. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. Hmm. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like That's him being accused of treason. Well... Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. What? The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. Well, I mean, that was exactly not, not my hers. fault. 
then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Good. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. I... Yay! And that's why I hate politicians. Amen. Alright, well, now what? Energy range or patrol is a particular concern about hydro system and called before the team can be on team. Hmm, interesting. Well, I think I just picked up a side qu side quest, but this is fine. This is fine. greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. Aw, thanks. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Uh, Ambassador? What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Why do you explain what you're about to say? That's a good question. Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly. We discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. I mean... Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Yay! Tell me about your history. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council's space when the Asari first made contact with us. Mm -hmm. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Neat. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on Elcor small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Yay! Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Goodbye, Ambassador. Well, that seems good Sincere enough. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? You are just a cranky crank crank, aren't you? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. 
You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Golas territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. Hmm. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Seems cranky about being shared, but cool. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. Hmm. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Hmm. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. All right, well, I guess Goodbye, that's... Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Hello? Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You, right? you seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Asari Consort? Who's this Asari Consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Yes. Everyone knows Shatira, the Consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Alright. Oh, that's okay, that's his office. Got it. <coughs> <laughs> oh, can't go that way. Okay, cool. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Uh, Commander? You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. I'm a notable person. 
What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avina. Avina? What's that? Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Oh, that's valid. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Welcome Thanks. to the Presidium. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Thanks. That's there. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Uh, no. Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executive Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Someone like me? Was there something you needed, Commander? Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. Okay. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. I see. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. Hey, Gamer Noof, what's up here? Y'all ready for this? <laughs> oh man, Gamer Noof, thank you so much for the safe space loot and the Wake Up Mundo check-in. Yeah, that'll wake you up, more or less. Yeah, we're working on it, working on it. What do you have against the Spectres? <gasps> 15 hours I in! Got this! 10 more hours to go. Above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. Scusi. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law. To my oh shit. <clears throat> High voice, huh? Alright. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. No, 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 no. We do we, our we best got this. to find and we got punish this. any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. Get my thingy going They'll trying to stay awake. Valid. Scrutiny. That's fine. We can, we can do a high voice. We'll do a high voice for the next five minutes. It's going to be great. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. <laughs> I agree. Everyone's trying to stay they awake. To be I hear ya. They Me need to be too. Accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a specter, the council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? No, but not all specters are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. Yeah, he doesn't seem no, like he is, does he? No, just don't trust your kind. Not goody, yet. goody, gosh! You humans are <laughs> eager to take all the power you can get. Well, we are you kind of assholes like lot. that, sure. The council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. But I don't have to like it. I, I don't think we're favorites, The though. council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. Oh, that's I'm a busy nice man, folks. Commander. Are we done here? Yeah, I think we're good. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Thanks. Nice, uh, nice chatting with you. Ooh. More stuff? Yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine. How long am 
message was transmitted from an untraceable account into multiple recipients through blah 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 blah. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together, we must build our own new world. Come, join us, the Hawking ETA cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Neat. Well, that's fun. Zeno! Thank you so much for the gift sub, y'all appreciate you! <clears throat> Thank you. Holy crap, Baskets! Thank you again! Oh my gosh, this hype train incoming? What the fuck is that? Yo, you guys! Thank you so much for those gift subs, yo! Appreciate- Oh my holy heckin' heck! Five fucking- five fucking gift subs! Thank you! Thank you so much, man! Thank you guys so much! Oh! <laughs> Alright, y'all. I guess it's time to give Tear Bear a cookie. Let's do that. Alright! So, Tear Bear should be right there, looks like. Tear Bear, come here, Boo. Oh, he's coming over! He's coming over! You want a cookie, huh, Boo? Cookie for Bear? Yeah! Well, then. I guess this means we can just do this, doesn't it? All right, there he is, and there's his cookie. Oh, yeah, good boy. Who's a good boy? Yay! <laughs> oh, shoot, child doom. Thank you so much for redeeming, <laughs> redeeming the cookie for Tear Bear. Tear loves it when Mommy sweet. I know, right? He's gotten so many cookies today. Holy crap. Yes, yes, it is a 24-hour stream because somebody redeemed the 100,000. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was Vex. <laughs> no, that's no, no. Hold on. No, 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 no. We're not. We're not chaining those. That's not gonna happen. Are you about to? One second, guys. Sorry. Give me just a quick second. Uh, are you heading out to your brunch with your aunt? Okay. Um. Holy crap, you guys! You guys get freaking gift subs left and right! Holy crap! You guys! Thank you so much! Oh my goodness gracious! Y'all, what is up with this freaking hype train? Shit, yo! Guys, thank you guys so much. Super appreciate it. Um. Sounds good. Can you let him out real quick? And then I will. You wanna go potty, boo? Go on. Outside? Alright, go on. Alright. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> you can't gift one without one for yourself, yo. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, thank you so much for the freaking hype train. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't even know. I don't even know. I've never had that before. I've never had a hype train before. This is crazy. Wow. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you so much. And now I can talk normal. Holly fucking Luya. Alright. 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 Moving on. Moving on. We got this. We got this. Sorry, I was uh, touching base with the uh, stepson. He's going to head out to uh, have brunch with his aunt, but to see if he could he could let the pupper out. I am... You know what? Let me set a quick alarm on my phone uh, so that uh, we'll check on Tyr in about a half hour um, just to make sure he's okay out there. You guys are, I'm just, I'm blown away. You guys are amazing. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Well, fine then. Don't talk. I don't want to talk to Hello, you. Hello, Commander. What's up? Can I get you something? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? What have you got? Information, mostly. Ah. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? I'd love to. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much mm. going on here. I see. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Okay. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. Services, huh? How well do you know Come Together by the Beatles? I mean, I kind of know it. 
We got a sing song inbound. Is that what I'm? Tell me about Flux and Cora's den. <laughs> well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Neat. Yeah, I guess that's everything. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Problem pondering so long, one here. I mean, I I don't know it like off uh, super well off the top of my head, but I mean, I can always just listen to it. And then, uh, and then load up a karaoke track, which is how I usually end up with doing sing songs anyway. So yeah, go for it if you want. I ain't gonna stop you. Where the heck am I going? What is? Okay, nope. We've been here already. Just got confused. So is this where we go now? Maybe I am lost. I'm not. I have no familiarity with what's going. On. But I don't want you to work too hard. Nah, yeah, I don't mind. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Hell, I tend to get sing songs for things I've never, never heard of, and and that's fine. We take we take all musics. I mean, I know them about the same each. I'd, I'd have to listen to a few of them either way. Okay, so this has got to be... To the wards? Uh, it doesn't look like I can do that. That's fine. What's chat's opinion? What's your thoughts, chat? Weigh in. What should gamer do? Please do not disturb the keepers. Right, sorry. So this is the Citadel Tower, huh? I guess this is where we go. The council isn't going to ask you any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udima. No, we don't, sir. Oh, wow. You guys, that's incredible. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for that hype train. Sorry, it's just showing that did the thing. You guys are amazing. You know, they're being delivered to supporters? Garrus, huh? Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Yeah. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. So, what'd you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. <laughs> I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe Thanks. they'll listen to you. Ads. It's a pretty dress. I like that dress. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? I hope so. The bolus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the bolus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. So what's wrong with that? Allowing the humans to join us would sound strategic move. The bolus? No. The Hanar are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right. Will the Hanar need to lighten up a bit first? Hmm. You Welcome back. Oh shoot. All right. What are we singing, Noof? Look down deep, sing what's inside. Wait, what? Are you telling me to choose?
Um... Is that what you're saying? I just want to make sure I understand here. Ah, good, that pauses the sound. Excellent. I think that means you're telling <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Hack. So are you telling me to choose what I'm doing? Alright, I just want to make sure I understand here. <laughs> Yay! Sounds like Zilnir got a sub. That's super cool. I'm guessing that's what you meant. Gamer, so, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Don't pick something random. Sing something from within. Okay. All right. All right. Give me a tick. I happen to have Princess right here. So give me just a moment. Let me, uh, ah, let me get her tuned up. And uh see where see where our tuning is. Okay, sorry. Took me a minute here. Oh, shoot. Looks like we got a safe space salute. Hold on, let me get that. We're going to pop over here because then it'll come through. Or not. Or it won't. That's fine. Never mind. Back we go. Okay. Ah, uh, gosh. I don't know what to... Well... I'll tell you what, I will play the song that popped into my head the minute you said, look deep down. Come on, can we not be sharp? Okay, there we go. Alright guys, <clears throat> this is the first song I ever wrote on guitar. It is also one of the hardest ones to play on guitar, for what I do, but uh... Keeps them alive in our hearts. 
So raise a glass with me. Three hundred and sixty-five days It seems like so much till it's over and gone And looking around you can count At least one friendly face That no longer remains Oh, light and light Light and light Oh, light and light At least one friendly face that no longer remains. So raise a glass with me and we'll see. We'll toast to their fond memory. It won't bring them back, but it keeps them alive in our hearts. So raise a glass with me. A lover, a poet, a friend A sinner, a saint, or a soul lost too fast We weep for the future and dream of the past But saying sighs, sometimes not likely to mend Oh, la 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 Oh, la 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 The future and dream of the past Bearing scars, time's not likely to mend So raise a glass with me and we'll sing We'll toast to their fond memory It won't bring them back but it keeps them alive in our hearts So raise a glass with me It's been sung in a very old song that cattle and a kinsman both die. Well, I know of a one well that never runs dry, and it's the stories we sing when they're gone. Oh, la la la, la la la, la oh la la la. And it's the stories we sing when they're gone So raise a glass with me and we'll sing We'll toast to their fond memory It won't bring them back but it keeps them alive in our hearts So raise a glass with me There you go, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, it's called Raise a Glass. It sounds a lot cooler when I have the rest of my band uh, playing it, but um, I hope I hope this will be... hope this is okay as it was. <laughs> ah, so, Gamer, thank you so much for that redeem. Appreciate that. All right. Let's get back to the game. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I gotta move the... I gotta move the screen back. I'm a dink. There we go. I'll try this again. That works, right? We got it out there. Everything's doing its thing. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. Whew. All right. Well. That's right. We were about to go meet. I have a meeting with the council. Oh. Hey, Captain. The hearing's already started. Come on. 
Ah, yes. I'm away. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. Wait, what? The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. And I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. Oh, but what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. What an ass. Oh, you're welcome, no yo. I'm glad you enjoyed that. it. That's not his decision. Lurk. Appreciate your lurking, man. into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Yeah, I'll find proof. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? No. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Asshats. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. Figures. I'm glad to see justice was served. Yeah, we'll get there. This meeting is adjourned. Alright, cool. Oh, I'm sorry, Ambassador. You look sad and lonely right there. We tried. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Well, and how do you know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. Mm -hmm. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here, but I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. All right, so now what do we do? What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. Mm -hmm. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I can talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Alrighty. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. Well, you that... won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Now hold on, Captain deserves better than this shit. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. I mean, we the could, The Ambassador's but... right. I need to step aside. <laughs> I need to him to talking. business. Captain, keep me in my office later. <laughs> right. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dangerous club in the lower section of the wards. Any other leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Okay. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Okay. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. And you and Saren... You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. 
I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Okay. Saren eliminated his target. Okay. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. Wait, what? But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. Mm -hmm. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe we're too independent. Maybe they'd let us join the council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. It's I so understand wide eyed. Yasa. They don't want us dominating the council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. All right, so what about You Harkin? don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Mm. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. So they protected him? Why? The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. Mm. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. So they just abandoned him then? I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. <laughs> He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Wait. What? So how does one become a Spectre? How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone... Things are still up in the air. So how, what's their organization like? What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. So, that, that, then that's legal? They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. Okay, but what if they do something like if they break rules? What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The council is careful when they select their candidates. Mm -hmm. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another specter to bring the rogue agent down. I see. What about the Shadow Broker? Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. I Always see. sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. 
Okay, and Barlavan? Tell me about Barlavan. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. Huh. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Alrighty, well, I guess that's I everything. Go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Alright. Alright, uh, my alarm to bring in the pupper dog is gonna go off here shortly, so I'm gonna go real quick, uh, grab the dog. I will be right back. All right, guys, thanks so much for your patience. Uh, I opted to go make a piddle, too, while I was up. Now, I should probably let you guys know that uh, I am going to, once uh, Sonya, um, I know she said that she was probably going to want to take a nap after she got home from work, but once she's ready to flip to Enshrouded, I am going to be flipping over there. Um, that guy's up to something. What guy? The one over by the Keeper. Hmm. Hi. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Uh... Hi? Um, yes, is there something you want? Doing something? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Hmm. Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Why? We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. Oh shoot! I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on Do you want a cookie bowl? Come here, bear. Come here. Come here, bear. No. 
Ahem. <clears throat> Alright, we'll, we'll bring we'll bring the cookie over to the tear bear. One moment. Alright, so he is right there. You can see him. He's got his chew already, but that's okay. We're going to interrupt chew time for cookie time. One moment. Y'all, he has had so many cookies today. This is amazing. I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Tai Show, for giving my sweet tear bear a cookie. I appreciate you. Yay. Cookie time for a bear is best time. Uh, let's see. So why why lie about it? Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Hey! Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs Alright, we're at 16 hours. Two-thirds of the way there. Openly. But it's not really worth getting arrested over. Well, yeah. I mean, I can I can help with that. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. Hmm. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. Okay. I need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. So, why are you doing this? What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. All right. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. Mm. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Mm. I don't know why I waved back to him, because it's not like he can see me, but, you know... All right, well, that's one. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the council commander. No, oh, hi. All right. Oh, there's one. <laughs> no, I just want to ask a couple of questions. You don't get to ask questions, so there. So are there any keepers up here? Have a little look about who bloody knows. Do 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 do. I'm guessing this is one of those uh one of those games where if you go into the water you're SOL. This an openable door? Negative. Okay, well, worth a shot. Worth a look about. <laughs> oh, there's another keeper over here. Hell yeah. Just happily munching on his chew. <laughs> and Taisho, I know you're not actively watching at the moment. That's okay, but man, I love the fact that you come out of lurking just enough to just enough to give the pupper dog a cookie. That just gives me so much joy. I spoil my doggo. So you know. Maybe. But I wouldn't believe everything you hear. That's true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
But the whole thing is, there's no speaky words. I am so confused. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren is one of their best operators. It's only matter of mm. his word over ours. Oh, so now we just need to be smug to remember. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? Mm -hmm. The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. Mm -hmm. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Mm -hmm. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Please let this one know if success is achieved. Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Mm -hmm. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. <laughs> What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. <laughs> if you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. <laughs> What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Mm. Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay. Oh, hallelujah. At least we can make with the speakies now. Yes, the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. Well, here you go. 150 credits. This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindler. Well, not exactly, but... 
This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. Yay! And now we helped. Good job, us. But on me. Come back. So I know we're looking for a few more keepers. I don't know where they all are. Okay, that just loops. No! Oh, Hold well on! Hi! What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. That's me! The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. Oh, uh, thanks. Do I know you? You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. You see? I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. Mm. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I see. Uh, can you help me? I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. So, let's, let's talk money. I hear your information can be expensive. Mm-hmm. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune, but these are exceptional circumstances, so I am going to give it to you for free. Really? What's the catch? Mm. There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Yeah, he's not the first one he's turned Saren's on. Saren's turned on a lot of people lately. I don't know the details. But the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Wait, what? That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. Mm -hmm. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Uh, he's... Do you know what he's doing there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with C-Sec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. So what can you tell me about you? Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. Mm -hmm. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I see. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Purely legal, huh? Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. In truth. I can keep his personal finances private. Interesting. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. 
Interesting. Yet somehow we never see My Twitch to just updated. The natural balance of power. <laughs> All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. So who is the Shadow Broker? Any guess what his identity might be? Or hers? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. You're their agent. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. People. Things. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Well, that's fair enough. And what do you know about the Citadel? What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is, without a doubt, the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. Okay. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel space together in a single strong community. Oh my god. <sighs> what makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% mm -hmm. of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. And the wards? What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. Okay. You never know what you'll find down in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. Well, I guess that's everything. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Neat. Wait it. Oh, I just got turned it around. There we are. Well, here's one of those. That's cool. And that's it. Okay. Hmm. Another keeper. Neat. Hi. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Uh, sure. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Okay. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in, um, three or four months. What? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? 
Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Neat. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, mm, three or four months. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Interesting. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. That booty, though. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Uh, okay. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Okay. Um... Hi? That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. Okay. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Okay. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What, what happened? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. You are, like, rubbing your tits up against me or something. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. I... That is a pretty dress, though. All right, fine. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. That's understandable. Many are a little unsure what to expect their first meeting. Don't get me wrong. I've only heard good things about the consort. It's just... The unknown forces us out of our comfort zone. It forces us to be vulnerable. Exactly. That's just what I was thinking. Good. Then we are ready to begin. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Well, all right, cool. Did we already? Okay, we got that one already. So the 
bar. Is that in the Warrens? I'm trying to remember. I don't quite recall, but I'm, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Ah, Citadel's a big place. Just figured. See if maybe we see any more keepers. I know I saw a couple of them while we were. Allow me to be your guide. Mm hmm. Now, hold on. So if I'm looking at, what is it, journal? Is this where this would be? Nine of twenty. Okay. <laughs> Large number of them. That's for damn sure. Holy God, fuck. Alright, fine. Gonna scramble some eggs. I'm hungry. Valid. Well, I hope your eggs are delicious. Okay, well, I know I saw a couple of keepers up in this general area, so let's go faff about in the, emb the uh, embassies. Welcome to the Presidium. And we'll, uh, figure shit out from there. Sweetie. <laughs> right, was there a keeper up here? Let's, let's, let's start here and then we'll, we'll work our way back. Let's see if we got any angry up. Sure is. Yeah, excuse us. No keepers around here. Fine. Captain. Okay, so that's everything on that side. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. There's one. Aha. That should be just over half. <coughs> Dear bear. <coughs> oh, you're fine. I think that's everything on this level of them. At least I'm guessing as much. I think I've been in just about every nook and cranny there is around here. I think. I'd be wrong. But I don't think I am. Welcome to the Presidium. Mm -hmm. Allow me to be your guide. Ah, I'm good, but thanks. You know, as I was going back to let the dog back in, I realized that uh, the husband also did the dishes. I mean, there weren't a whole lot there, but... Uh... I'm just saying, I am... I am a lucky human. Did we get this one already? We must have. Yeah. Okay. So, um, to the wards, huh? Let's see what's down here. How you holding up this Not too bad. 
No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Hmm, maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his clock. Fist is going to be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There is just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Keep your eyes peeled for our mark. Hey, there's one. recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Damn it. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. I can't say I blame Many them. colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. I mean, that's fair. What's in here? Now there's one of these guys. Excellent. Oink. It's all red back here. Makes me wonder what's going on. That's Got it. Shot at those were Saren's men. I think we're good, Commander. Neat. How the fuck am I getting shot at? That's not okay. That's just rude. Oh, hi. Zoom in. Oh, Harkin's over here. Wait, no, Harkin's here. Oh, damn. Maybe later. Suit yourself, princess. You know, if more marines looked like you, I might have joined the alliance instead of seasick. <laughs> well, maybe you can help me. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian seasick officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. In. I know where Garrus is. But you gotta tell me something first. Captain let you in on his big secret. Sorry? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. You didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. He screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Interesting. So, what went wrong? Why'd they kick him out? I have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. But it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. Ah, ah. 
That's how you know this. He said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, might as well spread them around. Yeah, look, that's not why I'm here. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. He must have heard he was going back there. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. Hmm. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean what was it like? The Executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. I, you were doing things that weren't okay. You get off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for CSEC isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers get it easy. Man, I wish, you know what, whatever, I think we're good. I'm out of here. Yeah, good, go. Commander, what do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Hayden. Well, she rejected me. Me, Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Enjoy your drink, General. Yeah, off you go. See you later, kid. I don't feel right just leaving like this. <laughs> don't waste your time, kid. Run away now. Waste your can. Yeah. No. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. Mm. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Yeah, no. Do you really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. But I see your point. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general. More or less. I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Good. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Uh, always. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Okay. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and the Elcor. Okay. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Hmm. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Yeah, let's Hard not... to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. 
Scheiße. Not quite go that far. But sure. Yeah, I'm good. It's entirely possible. I'm trying to decide if I want to go grab something else to munch on. Your Commander Shepard. Yes. The hero of Eden Prime. I don't know if I. I am so honored to meet you. I... Hi. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Uh, really? They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? I, uh, sure. Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. That neat. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. Mm-hmm. Weird. Yes. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Uh, sure. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Sorry? How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. So why me? You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. Why does everybody anyone keep reminding me of this? the elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. <sighs> How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Hmm. Alright, well, sure, why not? Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. I'll probably regret it. Any more of these we gotta find yet, I wonder. Four more. Alright then. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. 
Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or... Who are you? Let her go. Not in the middle of a fight! Are we, are we still in the middle of a fight? Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Uh, you're welcome. Glad I could help. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. So what was that? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The Quarian? What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Okay, so... Go on. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. The Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She hmm. must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. What's your issue with Saren? Wait, wait, why do you have an issue with Saren? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Okay. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we heard about him. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Mm -hmm. Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. Uh. Hmm. Well, let's do that. For now. Now I probably have, uh... Holy shit, I got a lot of points to spend. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Okay, cool. That's fine. There we go. Um... It's got eight points. Um...
Alright, that'll work. That'll do. Um, I think I am going to grab something to munch on. Do you guys mind? Uh, I'll be right back. All right, I just grabbed some, uh, basically like something to dip my, dip my chippies in. Do, do some slight readjusting here, but we'll be fine. Just wanted to munch on something. Oh god. Now. It is technically a nicer assault rifle. Oh wow. Lots of options on the pistol. Well, let's see what we got. Crap, actually. Hmm. Alright, cool. Well. Garrus, what do you got? Kill your armor's kind of crap, but that's okay. That's fine. Mm. Alright, well, I guess we're as re-kitted as we can be at the moment. So, let's keep going. Still here? Hell yeah, we are. Sorry, I'm munching on some chippies and stuff. But. 
Alright. Wait, hold on. I can replenish my med gel? Let's do that. Yeah, we are here. How's it going? C7 Space Moon, hope your day is... Morning is going fantastically. So we got a bunch of little side questy things going on here. Um... here. Okay, yep, that's the keeper that I met before. Yeah, I've, I've scanned this one already. Okay. this fist guy that I want to talk to. Now hold a tick. I feel like there's stuff I should still be doing down here. Wait a minute. Well, that was Cora's den, right? I think. Yeah. This is where I want to go? Question mark? I'm sure it is. Oh, to Korra's Den. Okay, this way to Korra's Den. Right. Oh, good. I wonder if this will let me save. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Mm -hmm. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. 
guys. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Mm. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, I never liked Fist anyway. <laughs> I never thought of that. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Hmm. I mean, we don't have to kill everyone. No need to. Good thing we saved. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ah, okay. Right, this. You guys. Stop right there. Mm -hmm. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. Mm-hmm. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never liked Fist anyway. <laughs> okay. Now we'll save I never again. thought of that. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Mm. I mean, sometimes it's the answer, for sure, but... Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. Mm. Mm -hmm. You better start explaining before I lose my temper. Mm. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. Mm -hmm. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards. The back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Oh, you son of a bitch. Am I supposed to just forget your part in all this? Hey, I came clean. I told you about the meeting. Besides, I've got my own problems now. The Shadow Broker wants me dead. I have to disappear. Forget about me. I'm a ghost. Fine. You're not my concern. Don't worry, you'll never see me again. Great. So now we gotta go find the fucking Quarian. Shadow Broker. Where's Fist? 
They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. You, uh, all right? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? Ah. <clears throat> My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. You'll want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. I'm not Fire here to. fights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Mm-hmm. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Mm -hmm. Tali Zora Naraya. Mm -hmm. We don't see many quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Sorry, you what? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Mm -hmm. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Hmm. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. I see. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Hmm. Hmm. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. Mm -hmm. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Hmm? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Mm -hmm. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Mm -hmm. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. Mm -hmm. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to <laughs> love this. I fell asleep watching the Death Game. <laughs> eh, that's okay. Finally beat it. Hmm. 
The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. Hmm. What about her? The Quarian. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. Mm. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. All right, let's do it. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Mm -hmm. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. All right. The sooner I can get rid of Caden, the better. I mean, Ashley, get rid of her first, but. We do need to find a few more keepers. Not entirely certain where they are, but. Oh, wait, hold on. <clears throat> Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. No, no. I have stuff. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Torian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here. This should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Well. Mm -hmm. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Mm. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. You're welcome. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Hmm. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Oh, well. Approving. You see, then, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Apologetic. Do not listen to my bolus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. I mean, my intentions were to help. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Uh, Commander sure. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Nice to meet Forgive you. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Okay. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Mm -hmm. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Hmm. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosca. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. <coughs> I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. Hmm. I think that's valid. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, is C-Sec down here? Um. Oh, let's check it out. <clears throat> the Quarians endangered the entire galaxy when they let the Geth break free. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the Genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. Mm -hmm. I mean, in all fairness. Well. <clears throat> Uh huh. You, human. You the one they call a shepherd? Yeah, that's me. That's me, Commander Shepherd. The name's Rex. Hmm. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of Fist. Only you got there first. Huh? Sounds like I did your job for you. When I get paid to do a job, I finish it alone. I don't like where this is going. But I didn't finish this job, Shepard. You did. So the payment is yours. Mm. Oh, well. You're gonna pay me for getting rid of Fist? I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transferred the payment into your account. I like the way you handled Fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. Hey! Why? You're a bounty hunter. What do you get out of going after Saren? I'm not in this for the money. I want to be where the action is. There's a storm coming, and you and Saren are right in the middle of it. Why me? Saren's already got a lot of Krogan working for him. Those aren't Krogan. They're servants. They grovel at Saren's feet to lick his boots, trading their freedom for promises of wealth and power. My people were a proud species once. Some of us still remember that. I won't bow down to Saren like the others. Oh, I mean, that's one way to look at it. All right. We'll take you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard. Mm. Now... Yeah, we'll stick that for now. We're just faffing about on the Citadel. We don't I don't think we need biotics. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll need a lot of biotic strength. I hope not. I don't actually really know, but... Also... Might be some keepers around here. Maybe. maybe. Okay, Jaleel. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorbin, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I. I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me. I disappear unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Then I've got other work to do. Mm. But I... But nothing. Don't worry. It's an elevator. Okay, hold on. I don't actually know where the elevator goes. But I 
want to see if there's any other. Aha! Uh -huh. hmm. Acquisition officer. Alright, so how close are we now? We are 17 out of 20. Ah, uh, so there's still three more we haven't found. And I remembered finding... I know I found all the keepers last time. I remember it was a giant pain in my ass, too. That's fine. Alright. Set that up there. Alright. We've had munchies. Munches and crunches. Rex! Yeah, I know, I love Rex. Rex absolutely cracks me up. Okay. I'm trying to make sure I don't have, uh, chips and dips all over my face, because... Docking bay. Hold on, I haven't been to the docking bay. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Oh, good. So that's our... Oh, yep, that's the Normandy. Okay. All right. Binary so Helix two more settled to find. out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. Oh. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Alrighty. Hey, Dagnabbit! Browns! Welcome back, Browns! Happy morning. Or er, afternoon. Whatever. Sup. <laughs> it's time for a cookie for a tear bear! He has had so many cookies. Okay, he is right over there. <laughs> Oops, move the camera back. Good job, Hype Boo. He sneezed. All right, here we go. So then. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, courage. Hmm. Let's 
So we are still missing two keepers. Did you get past Betty last night? I did, finally. Yeah, we, we beat the game last night. There were two more bosses. It took some time. But we got them. I wasn't certain we were going to get the last one. But we did. So. Thanks. I said something about there being an expensive bar somewhere. Wait a minute. There's a... Oh. That... Hello? The officer has left, and this one is free to share the glory of the Enkindlers. This one offers its appreciation. I... Uh, you're welcome. Happy to help. This one has little money, but it can offer this. Mm-hmm. Now, finally... This one can continue sharing the truth unimpeded. Okay. Thanks for the med gel. It disappeared. <clears throat> the hell am I supposed to be doing right now? Return to the tower. Which which tower? Ah. Welcome to the Presidium. Mm -hmm. Allow me to be your guide. Now nah, I'm good, but thanks. <clears throat> <laughs> she didn't actually get it. The specter are done. If the evidence is worth trying to kill me for, I hope it's sufficient to put up the council. Fingers crossed. Is it right? Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. <laughs> and one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Uh, who's that? Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. Mm. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Not yet. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Mm. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Yes. Impossible. It has to be. I mean, you'd hope Where so. did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I mean, to be fair... I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. 
don't make the same mistake again. Mm. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the gas to search for the conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty certain I've seen them. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Mm. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. Mm. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. Mm. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. Scusi. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I'll go. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Um, like hell, I, I, I maybe humanity's not, but I am. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Hmm. Damn point. Commander Shepard, step forward. Heck yeah. Let's go. Sup. Spectre bathroom key. Hell yeah. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged from the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Fuck yeah. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, right. come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Oh, thanks. Heck yeah. Good job, me. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Meh. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Mm. Right behind you, Shepard. Hey! Alright. Let's go. Place to go, people to kill, stuff to bury. Busy day ahead of us. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Council's assistants. Okay, team that one. There's still two more keepers we gotta find. I hope he's okay. Oh, fuck's sake. What? Hi. I'm on a break. Okay. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. What's up, buddy? Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? Yes. Sometimes. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. 
And that mm. usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Attacked? Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. Mm. I won't give up on my brother. Mm. Not yet. Mm. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Mm. Uh, okay. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. No, I'll take a look. Ow. Okay. Ah! Y'all ready for this? <laughs> and over. What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? Ugh. All right. Okay, guys, it's been like 17 hours since I last brushed my teeth. I'm, I'm having that gunky feeling in my mouth, in my face. Uh, what? <laughs> what is? Okay, hold on. What is that? What is that? What is that clip there? Let me let me take a look at that bad boy. Moving with the 24 hours. <laughs> Sorry, I was picking out a thing on my... The Holy Spectre of Battle Room. Indeed. Oh, goodness, excuse me. All right. I'm gonna go brush my teeth, guys. It's been, like I said, it's been over 18 hours since I last brushed my teeth. I, I'll be right back. Okay, well, we'll do that in just a second. Alright, uh, let's see. So, Tear Bear is right there-ish. We'll see if he gets up for this cookie. One moment. Oh, safe. All right, let me. Boop, boop, boop. Let me get you on that XP redeem here, right quick. I got you. Got you, got you, got you. Alright. Now I now I am gonna go brush my teeth, guys. I'll be right back.
Okay, we are back. Thank you guys for letting me go brush my teeth. I feel much better now. My face feels way less gross. Okay, so let's see. So we're a specter now. We're going to hunt down Saren. We're going to save the world and find more seekers to scan. Keepers, whatever the things are. Robot things. Do you ever regret leaving Citadel Security to pursue Saren, Garrus? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats C-Sec. I am. I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to put it, sure. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Nah, I'm good, but thanks. Alright. So, we've got those things. I want to see if maybe we can find the other uh, keepers. I'm not entirely certain where they are. We'll, we'll, we'll start in the wards. See what we can find down and around here. They've got to be around somewhere, right? And plus there was an expensive bar where there was someone we were supposed to talk to. <sighs> we'll figure it out. Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. Oh, good. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. So I feel like we've been to most of these places, but I haven't really done like a huge like at the academy. walk around Ed, here. Busy though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in Things from the wards. and stuff. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. I guess not, but it's good to use a few more men. That's why we brought you here. Okay, so we talked to this guy, or we scanned that guy. Whatever. Well, did I get turned around? I think I got turned. Did I get, maybe? Did I get turned around? To the wards? Okay. I feel like there's more that I'm missing. Is there another way to turn to walk somewhere? Maybe? Nope. This is where I. Nope, this is where I came from. Okay. Alright, alright. I'll figure it out. I thought there was. Yeah, sure. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. Oh, hell's bells. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. I'm sure he's fine. Okay, so we've been through here, yeah. I wonder if I missed something in Cora's den.
Oh, well, there's stuff here. Neat. Area map. Hey, manual override. Let's go. Oh, shit. Ah! Yeah! Doink. Sha! <laughs> uh, okay, can't go that way. There's no keepers around here, though, so that doesn't help me any. I was kind of hoping, but I guess not. I guess we're going this way. Scan that one. Hold the phone. I don't think I've been down here. Have I? No. Have not! There's that one. So is there one more down here? Gods, I hope so. This is the one place I haven't been yet. So, nope. So there's an elevator. Ah, cock baskets. But, it's not an elevator that I've been in. In entertainment news. Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. So I'm not gonna lie, I would love to actually see that. Okay, alright, so this is not, that's not a thing that's gonna take me anywhere. So, piss nuggets. Um. Mm. What's down here? Oh, here's our requisition officer. Oh. Oh, I already. Good deal. Hi! One sec. Looking you up. Mm hmm. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Uh, that is correct. Sorry, this thing is driving me batty. To do this shit on stream, but at the same time, I can only handle all these damn hang skins so, so much. Gotta fucking go. How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. Ah. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? I need some supplies. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Ah. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Oh, no worries. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Oh, thanks. Uh, hmm. Yep. 
Yeah, that's, uh, not a thing that, oh, hold on a sec. Um, all these. Oops, no, no, I, uh. I hit I. Not certain what that was all about, but cool. Um, okay, so nothing there is good there. That is a much nicer shoddy. I'm taking that. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Hello, but Commander. top supplies. Show me what you got. All right, let's sell some nonsense then. Now that we've got everything else that we don't really care about, um, let's sell all the junk. I'm gonna just, uh, sell everything. Does this give us an option to hit anything? Nope. That's okay. Well, here are a bunch of nonsense in our inventory, so at least there's that. Go back down. I'm blocked. So. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Yay! Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. Woo! Whatever that In a rare that admission means. of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. It is not. Kelly, I don't understand what your problem is, but I'm sure you'll catch up. Is there some place in the med office, maybe? There was one right over here, right? Is this a door we can go through? No. No, it is not. Was there a seeker in the... Or a keeper in the med office? I, I do not recall. Maybe. Uh... One left. Heckin' where is it? I 
feeling it's probably like tucked inside a hallway somewhere. This looks like a slightly more expensive bar. Jesus! Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Sonia! <coughs> hey, darling. You, uh... How is work? I thought there was somebody in here that I was supposed to talk to about you chat what oh the last keeper is always the hardest to find I can never remember I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I did find it I just found it supposed to talk to that's supposed to be in this expensive bar done with work grabbing pizza then heading home alrighty I hope uh, work went well welcome to flux name's Doran what can I do for you is this a casino we've got some quasar stations uh, if you're interested oh well, thanks are you the owner owner cook and bartender ah I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Goodbye. Thanks. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. Oh, you're fine. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. I assume CSEC is protecting her? They can't watch her all the time. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. I can talk to her. Maybe I can help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe this is not the bar that I'm supposed to be at? I don't remember. Hey, good to see another human. I thanks.
thinking that that's per that's the Presidium, not that. All right, heck. This way? Maybe it was this way. Maybe. Maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? Uh, I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Mm. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. I'm busy. The other waitresses can help you. Not now. I'm busy. Anyway. I tried. Talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. That was odd. What was he trying to tell us? I guess we better go find out. Mm. Nope, that's the wrong way. One that I know somewhere around here is the uh, it was down here, it was down this way. I think, I think, I hope so. Okay, see, Sack Academy this way, this way. Okay, got it. in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken.
Nope, nope, not there. Ah. Uh -huh. Come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No okay. offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Uh, sorry? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chalik. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. But you're still using her. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you were so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Okay. Always thinking ahead, Detective? As part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? All right, what you need? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. I see. All right then. <clears throat> I'll persuade Jax. Ah. No. You tip Jax off and I'll make Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Okay. So you going pair? Mm -hmm. To be fair, I only popped over here because this is what I had that fit what chat voted for. Gattis, if you do not After I asking, uh, finished that store. How do you feel about hunting a Torian? Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Torians everywhere. Things are different among my people. There are so few of us. We are expected to be loyal, even when it is difficult. Hmm. I should save. I haven't saved in a while. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? I didn't come here to look. Show her the goods. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. 
Come on, boys. We're done here. Yay. We did stuff. Hard, hardcore. <sighs> Good times. Your choice in armor is awfully limited, Tally. Couldn't you wear something without a helmet? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. So your people are forever wandering, and now they couldn't settle if they wanted to. I'm sorry. something for me. Hmm. Here's your shipment, Chellick. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. Oh, thanks. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. You're welcome. Okay. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Allow me to be your guide. Alright, hold on a damn second. He's in the Embassy Lounge in the Presidium. Okay.
the embassy lounge? This one up here? Oh, uh, there you are. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. I am. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yeah, I'm here for Samish. Yes. <clears throat> a man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble cleaning his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably <sighs> frustrating position. I wish I could help him. You could just... Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Mm -hmm. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Yeah, this isn't right. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. I do, and you're wrong. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. All right. Excellent. I uh, guess we're going Paragon. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Mm -hmm. I reminded Mr. Bosco what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. I thought this was where you told us to meet. Oh, at the Alliance Docking Bay. Derp. I'm an idiot. Just get a fast travel there. Right, central elevator. Nope, that's the Presidium. Is this the docking bay? Yes. In other news, Exogeny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Hi. I've got big Gentlemen. news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Sorry, wait, what? She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. Uh... Sir? I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. 
and it's time for me to step down. I feel like there's more going on here. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. Hmm. I had my shot. It came and went. Mm, now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. <laughs> the Ambassador? Yeah, you're not the only one. I got you. Any word? What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the Conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Alrighty, I got you, boo. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice on that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. All right. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a specter now. You don't answer to us. Your name gives politicians a bad name, and that's already you low like bar. A yeah. I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. Mm. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Nah, I'm good. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. He survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. <sighs> Yeah, this does feel kind of shitty, not gonna lie. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. Let's be honest. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. Hooray! We did stuff. Now what? If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. 
I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. Yeah, they're fine. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop it. Did you ever watch the A-Team? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I grew up on that on that show. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. That's just being stupid and stubborn. No matter how strong you are, allies can make you stronger. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying to wipe it out. They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for really? It was a <laughs> We couldn't even keep track of how many ships they lost. I didn't realize that. So now you're here, huh? How did you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Carry on, Presley. No, I, yes, I did not know that. Alright, so how the frick frack... What the hell am I supposed to be? Okay, so... Okay, how? Because I figured... Oh, do I have to access it from back here? I'll bet I do. Son of a... Damn, cock sucking. I did not know that. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. I don't know which one it is. Sure. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Yeah, sure, why not? Might as well. I don't know if this is where I actually want to be, but, um... Oh boy! Time for the Mako. I made one of these in Scrap Mechanic. <clears throat> At least I tried. Um, it was okay. Oh, there's a map. There's our beacon. There's debris. There's an anomaly. 
Let's, uh... Let's head towards the debris... For, what, what was this? Now, this is different. get out. Okay. Nothing. Nothing here. It's a great thing about this game, though. You can go anywhere <clears throat> and do any mission in pretty much any order. Yeah, I know. Ah. <sighs> By the way, Sonny, just let me know when you're ready to hop over to some Enshrouded. Because, um... I can pop over one of Whoop, hold on, there's some minerals. I remember we want to scan those things. Singing Bex. Palladium. Alright. Okay. I'll leave the ambient song uh, sound here just because I can. Hold on a moment. <clears throat> to know this one. Far over the misty mountains are cold to dungeons deep and caverns old. We must wait a break of day to seek the pale enchanted gold. The dwarves of yore made mighty while hammers are fell like ringing bells in places deep where dark things sleep in hollowed halls beneath the fells far over the misty mountains are cold To dungeons are deep 
and caverns old we must away at break of day to claim our long forgotten gold <coughs> excuse me the pines were roaring on the heights the winds were moaning in the night the fire was red it flaming spread the trees like a torches Blazed with light, the bells were ringing in the dale, and men looked up with faces pale. The dragons are more fierce and fire laid low their towers and houses far over the misty mountains of grim to dungeons of deep and cavern we must away ere break of day to win our hearts and gold from him. <laughs> Thanks, Bex. I appreciate it. There you go. There's your Misty Mountain song. in a way that it's not going to muck with the tuning. But, uh, excellent. <sighs> There's your sing song. I completely forgot to fix the camera, but whatever. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank you for picking a song I knew off the top of my head. <laughs> Alright. Back to the game. What, boo? You gotta? Alright, guys. Tears gotta go potty. Give me just a second. Alright, we are back. Uh, let me set another timer here to be able to check on the doggo. Alright. And we're back. Hey man, I love folk music too. I know quite a bit of it too. 
So if you ever want to hear more, just, you know, uh, feel free to just request a sing song and say, hey, I want something folk. And I can, I can do that. What? Wow, that, oh gods. There we are. Probably not going to let me, are you? Yeah, level terrain. That's fair. There we go. I'm sure that's level. Okay. There we go. Alonium, huh? Rare element. Well, works for me. Okay. I I can drive. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I mean, in all fairness, the uh, the Mako that I made in Scrap Mechanic handled about as well. Actually, hold on. Somewhere, okay, Artemis Tower. Okay, so we have no idea actually where she is. This is fine. Run it. Hmm. Oh, Jesus! Oh, hell's bells! Great, we overheated. Lovely. Help! Oh, 
Oh God! Do it! Not. Tell me it auto saves. Oh, piss baskets! Dante, what's up? Urgh, what's up? Gotta use the big gun, little one just pisses it off. Okay, well, now I know. <sighs> Crap baskets. Hope. Gotta scan these damn minerals all over again. I just doing a bit of Warframe trying to rank up. Valid. Valid. Hope it's going well for you. I'm just about this early. There we go. Sounds good, yo. I do hope that it's going well for you. One thing's for certain, we're gonna be uh, definitely going to save once I'm done scanning this freaking mineral. I don't want to do this shit again. For the most part, I was trying to get a new weapon blueprint, but I could not figure out how to beat the boss that has a chance to drop it. Oh. Yes, I would like to override the existing save. Whew. That was rough. Sorry. Not yawning at you, man. Not yawning at you. It's, uh... As you can see, we've been going for almost 19 hours. And this is fine. This is fine. We got the we got the hundred thousand channel point redeemed that said do the thing for twenty four hours, so we're doing the thing for twenty four hours and Whew. Yep, 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 yep. That's alright, we got this. I do miss my Mako and, scra and Scrap mechanic, though, not gonna lie. Uh, have a present? Present. I'm confused. <laughs> Sonya! <laughs> Yo! Oh my gosh, you guys! Fucking A! We just met the sub goal! You guys! Thank you so much, Sonya! Thank you for put. Oh, we got another mineral over here to survey. Okay, well, we'll do that real quick. Sonya, thank you so much for... For that. Oh my gosh, guys. That's it! That makes the fucking sub goal. You guys, I am freaking blown away. Absolutely blown away. Thank you guys so much. Fucking wow! <laughs> Oh, 
<sighs> you guys, I I'm just I'm fucking blown away. Thank you so much. Thank you so freaking much. <laughs> I can't. I'm fucking speechless, y'all. Speechless. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Wow. Just, just damn wow. You guys are incredible. Just fucking incredible. Thank you so much. <sighs> My electronic skill is too low. Uh. Do I have any extra points to spend? I do! We could try to... I don't know what it would take, but... Can we? Still too low. Dump all my points into electronics just so I can do this? Come on. Better do it. Aha! Jesus. Well, at least we got it. Saving. I know, right? I know! Well, then I can take it back if you make you cry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just amazed, yo. I'm, I'm blown away. I'm so fucking grateful. You guys are the fucking best. And I, I, yeah. I'm not gonna cry, but I, I'm not gonna cry. That was not a sniffle for cry. That was a sniffle because I've got things in my nose. I'm absolutely not heading the right way. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll turn this way then. I'm sure this will be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Still heading the right way, right? Haha, <laughs> exactly the right way. Let's go. Bad. 
same, yo. And I'm, I'm really, really damn grateful that you were able to get back. Bex. Oh. Continue to heal and feel better. Like, are you, are you... at all but fortunately we saved just before we got there mm. kind of hard to keep down I mean I'm glad for that I do not like Thresher Maws, they are mean. done. No, of course not. Okay, that was it. We got it, right? Good, because we are busted. We are very busted up. Heck. Soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the destruction. 
distress me. save again because ow. that did not go as well as I'd hoped it would uh, okay so the next place you want to go is over here please no more fucking thresher moths please no more I do not have the omni gel for this way, right? Ish. Ish, ish. How do I return to the surface? Turn to Normandy. Okay. I knew there had to be something that let me go back to the Normandy. Fuck me, I couldn't figure out what it was. Alright, we are gonna need more... We got a vendor around here, right? Something we can turn into stuff we can... Whoop, that... Hold on, what's over here? Oh, good lord. Should I be talking? To, I should be talking to people. I forget that that's a part of this game. Alright, fine. We'll have chats. Don't you hit on me, Caden. I'm not interested. A boring human. Anything you need, Commander? Eh, thoughts? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Tactical appraisal? What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Alright. Beautiful.
Now. Yes, Commander? Doc? Is there something you need? How did you end up I'm listening. But humanity needs the alive. Everything you make. But there's something special about working on soldiers. How well do you know the I'd never work. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Blah, blah, Lieutenant blah. Alenko was wired for the old L2 configuration. What wired. kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Wait, I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Mm -hmm. Actual elevator, right? Yep, sure is. I really like my eyeshadow. All right, well, <clears throat> let's talk with the racist first. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. What's your opinion? Kind of wish you got there soon. No offense. I appreciate the rescue. I just wish. You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit. That's fair. Yes, ma'am. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. Oh, honey, it's not your fault. The Geth are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. They have flashlight heads, ma'am. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. I will take care. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. I will hold my tomboy cosmetics opinion on your eyeshadow. Hey, look, I just, I'm just saying I like it on her. I think it's pretty. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. Thanks, Rex. What can I do for you? Question. What's your story, Rex? There's no story. <sighs> if you want stories. Oh, for fuck's sake. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah, they tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. It isn't? It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? Well, okay, you got a point. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Okay, fair enough. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Oh. Tire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. Give me a second, guys. I gotta go uh, get the dog. I'll be right back.
Alright, thanks for your patience. Doggo is back inside. Let us continue. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. <laughs> they made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most <laughs> get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Wait, what? Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. So long, Rex. Shepard. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. Oh, you're I welcome, Garrus. The Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Really? Have you worked with the Spectre before? <laughs> well, no, but I know what they're like. Sorry? The Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Eh, it's not terrible. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. <laughs> Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. Really? So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. <laughs> it didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was tipping. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. Hmm. Aha. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay My you My stuff for doesn't come from the Alliance. I have... Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods... Let's see what I you've got. Mm. You bet, Commander. Yeah, we don't have that kind of money yet. It's down here. Ah, engineering. Hey, Tali. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. Well, to be fair, this one's kind of special. The Normandy's prototype, cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tugship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. Holy shit, that was a long time ago. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. 
We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. Oh? What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. What's the Conclave? That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. Hmm. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. Okay. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? And that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla, and given gifts to help us on our journey. We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune systems weaker than most. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all Quarians. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. I want to talk about something else. Like what? I want to know more about the geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. 
All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. That's illegal though, right? How come the council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. Sorry, the neural what? So the Geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the smarter they are. Okay. So there's some sort of group consciousness. No, nothing like that. They cannot share sensory data or information. Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. Each Geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But, when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. I'm probably oversimplifying. The Geth are incredibly advanced and complex creations. All you need to know is that they get smarter when they gather in large numbers. As we built more and more Geth, Excellent. I'm glad their effective said. intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. I don't see what's so bad about those questions. The Geth were created to engage in mundane, repetitive, or dangerous manual labor. That's fine for machines, but it won't satisfy a sentient being for long. The Geth were showing signs of rudimentary self-awareness and independent thought. If the Geth were intelligent, then we were essentially using them as slaves. It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us. So we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. Hey, you can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines incapable of organized resistance but they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated the war was long and bloody millions upon millions of quarians died at their hands in the end we were forced to flee our own home world we feared the geth would pursue us but they never came beyond the veil now we drift through space exiled searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours it's hard to feel sorry for you. Your ancestors tried to wipe I love species. butter. We all love butter. What is we my purpose? Pass the butter. The oh my god. Yeah, welcome to the club. But we did not make a mistake when we went to war against them. Butter is the best. If we had not acted, they would have wiped us out. They're a synthetic life form. They have no use for organics. None. Why do you think they cut themselves off from the rest of the galaxy? Why do you think they've killed every organic being who's ever tried to contact them? Well, not all of them. They didn't kill Saren. What does that tell you? The Geth are not innocent victims in all this. They are the enemy. They want to destroy us. Not just the Quarians. All organic life. That's why they've joined up with Saren. And that's why we have to stop him. I should go. See you later. Mm-hmm.
Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's I'll tell her to leave you. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I, I figured she'd be a real... got an eye for Tally, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Fill me in on the IES... You can't. So eventually the sinks have to be vented. There's no... This Most vessels rely on scanners. Why doesn't it work? Frank, sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit Sorry, FTO yeah, flight. Okay, like but the short-range missions are conversations. still are amazing. We've got the only one. Yep, Carry yep, yep. Bye. Bye. No, no, no. Do stay awake. Amber wants me to bake her cake. Hello, adventurer. Welcome to Skip. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're not wrong. Look here already. Yay. Okay. That's everything, right? Can we get this one too? Sure, I guess we'll pop over there. Sure, why not? <laughs> Alright, boys and girls, we are officially starting the struggle. That's alright, we'll be fine. We got this. Commander, I'm picking up some strange <clears throat> things. Really strange, like off the damn charts. Okay. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Oh, I'm sure we're fine. Headed this way, huh? Yeah, more or less see how the roads are doing things. Nope.
really? Also, ow. Actually, do that? Hold on. Of the operational area. God damn it. Oh. I'm not certain what I thank you a fucking problem. Kill, but um, oh, fuck's sake. All right, who's shooting at me? Heck with this.
Rex, can you, uh... Yep, nothing of interest there. Checking in on the 24 hours. Oh, man. <sighs> well, we're almost at 20 hours, and we're, uh... I'm starting to struggle a little, not gonna lie, but that's okay. We'll get there. I got the, uh... Bex redeemed the, uh, redeemed the 24 hours, so, I mean, they, they spent the 100,000 channel points. I'ma do it. <laughs> How you doing, Grounds? We, I did not intend when I started streaming yesterday to make this a 24-hour stream, but here we are, and that's fine. This is okay. We do not mind, and we are grateful um, that somebody spent enough time with us to get 100,000 channel points. So, we'll take it. She says grounds, I think she... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Actually, you're not the first person who's wondering if <laughs> blame Sabrina in her chest. That's true. That's true. Uh, Bex did... Um, the condition, you know, for, for that was... Sabrina was like, I'm gonna show you my boobies. And Bex was like, okay, yeah, show me the boobies. So she did, and then I ended up with a 24-hour stream. Been doing vampire stuff, stopping at the 7-hour mark. Oh, hi! Oh, gods. Okay, well, that's that happened. I did not, I did not see what I was doing. Whoo! Vampires have stopped in the seminar market yesterday, and when I hear you say Browns every time, <laughs> like every time. Yeah, yeah, you're not. You guys are not alone. You're not alone at all. Because uh, uh, Doom occasionally gets confused as well with the uh, Browns and Grounds triple Ds. Take all the things. And we'll open this up too. Oh! Hi, yeah. oh, yeah. So, Groundsman, how have you been uh, with Nightingale? Damn, now I want some. <laughs> Hell yeah. How you, uh, Groundsman, how is, uh, have you done anything else with Nightingale? Where the hell am I? Okay, so they want us to go this way. Sabrina is loaded. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So, my map is saying I need to be going this way, yes? Yes. Think I'm going the right way? I hope. I gods, I hope I'm going the right way. Well, looks like... Yes. I beg your fucking pardon, sir.
is adorable. Yo, at least you have C's, I'm just saying. I'm not even certain I can boast that. Like, I'm a fat chick. I'm supposed to have big ones, but nope. Okay. And there's me, I went from... <sighs> yep. Thanks, Sonya. Thanks for reminding me. Goliath, or a little bit jealous. Probably a B at this point. <laughs> Same Z's, yo. Same Z's. No idea what I know. Like this is where we end up. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's save real quick. Yes, please. There are plenty out there. <laughs> All right, let's go, gentlemen.
Bữa đấy Well, that must be the place. Oh Jesus, those things. <sighs> Fuck baskets. It's the ones that are all yep, I hate those things. I hate these chameleon -y guys. They just they're just so fucking creepy. Oof. We got a big one over here. Yeah. Yeah. And a Colossus. Oh good. Baskets. That's a good thing we saved before we got here.
healing should revive them, shouldn't it? Uh, does it? No. It does not. things. Maybe that's a later skill. Maybe it might be. Who knows? Aside from the Citadel, I mean. It's a brand I keep. There are worse kind of jails to be thrown into. Man, that was down a long ways. Whoa! I... Whoa! Okay, that's a problem.
Hej. Hej. Ah. Good. You're the person. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. I can't hear you. Liara Tassoni, I presume? Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Okay. There's some kind of propulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Okay, well, what do you want me to do? Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. All right. I'll go for kneecaps. Eyes are doing things. That's okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I'm not broken. Oh, hi. Stuff like stuff. I am. I will take all the things.
<laughs> I come and get <laughs> we get to have fun. <laughs> My come and gets what? Gets boobs. <laughs> I mean, valid. I want boobs that aren't just mine. <laughs> Jealous. Ah, behind us. Yes. Um, hi. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. I blew a hole in the floor. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Mm. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down <gasps> the containment field. Not so fast, Shepard. You sure she's on our side? Her mother's working with Sarah. Apparently I'm not allowed to share I am not my mother. I don't even... <laughs> You're just not allowed to share them with me, Sonya. I don't want anything to do and with that's okay. Bastard. If I'm she sure. was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. Hmm. Eh, boop. Pardons. Uh. Oof. Or do... Hey, look. Truth, yes. But any idea how we get out of this place? We're a monogamous an couple. We don't play well with others. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. I mean, yeah, there you go. See, you can share with you I, can share I still with Browns. Cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously, he wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. Maybe this conversation oh, have someplace else. These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Whoops. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. All right. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, Mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. Hot shit. Let's go. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> Attaboy, Rex. Like we're still gonna have to shoot our way out of here. Oh yeah. Sup? Oh good barrier. Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Had the doctor over. Yeah, fuck off Whatever now. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She says she wistfully comments. <laughs> it's best that I'm a guy if I'd be too busy playing with them and staring at them all day. I mean... Yeah, I mean, should I play with mine all the time anyway? Not giving her up, no. She'll stay with us, thanks. Mm. Not an option. Oh, yes, it is. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Funny story about how Kill that's him. not gonna work. Spare the Asari if you can. No, <clears throat> it doesn't matter.
Alright, we got it. Now how do we out of here? Run, run me, please do quick time events, please do quick time events, I'm really bad at quick time events. Sweet! Oh, baller skates. Yeah, let's go. Go, 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 go! And that's one, two, three. Where, where's, where's Arturian? Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. Woo! The Normandy isn't we equipped survived. to land in exploding volcanoes. They I'm tend sure. to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. Thanks, Joker. Appreciate we you. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. Yeah, he helped us. We're Joker fine. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. Yeah, that's fair. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. That's but okay. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those mm. geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. Yes. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50 years, huh? Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Only. Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. Mm. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Oh? Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. Hmm. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout she galactic is right, history, because she's beautiful. the Protheans mm. disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. No, seriously, I can help you. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit <laughs> information to directly yes. into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. 
The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. Oh shit. I am amazed <clears throat> you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Truth. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Mm. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. I'm sure you can still help us. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Caden is Commander. jealous. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. Maybe. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Huh? Welcome aboard. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yeah, we'll chat later. We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Sure, why not? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. Yep. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. <laughs> maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. This At is least true. the mission was a success. Hmm. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? I. Uh, the Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all. <laughs> Everybody out, I want private time with the Blue Lady. <laughs> valid. Absolutely valid. Stretchy, stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh, stretch, okay. Well, what is it? Okay. Back spasm, back spasm, bad. Ow, 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 son of a bitch. Oh, man. My body's starting to get sassy with me. This is gonna be fun. This is good. This is great. This is awesome. Well, I've done this. Now what? I suppose I can go talk to people again. Tell Alright, Caden, what's what's your story? Hi. Commander, do you have a minute? Sure. I always make time for my officers. <laughs> Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. Oh? This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... Poison, Kate. I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. It's funny, we finally get out here and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. That's a way to look at it. Oh well, you're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space? <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves or you know for justice mm. maybe I was a romantic in the beginning but I thought about it after brain camp uh, sorry 
biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance. It's to die too. Past the airlock. All right, all right, leave. Have a good stream. All right. See you, Browns. Thank you for stopping by, man. I appreciate you. Encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding Don't die. of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Seems like you beat the odds. How many didn't make it? Out of 100, maybe 60 have no effect. 30 suffer adverse effects. Little things like brain cancer. Little things. The other ten show enough ability to augment with implants. Not always permanent, though. Not like the cancer. Next thing you know, you're out on jump zero. How's a kid supposed to deal with that? A station at the edge of human space. Jump zero is Gagarin station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shot, outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every <laughs> night before. Thanks, be sure to take care of everyone here. Have we some fun. What you do though was a research platform that Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent. Uh, no. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. We have to depend on each other in combat. I like knowing what kind of man I have at my back. Mm. I understand, ma'am. I won't let you down. You, uh... Make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? Of course. But I don't enjoy it with everyone. Don't. We'll talk again later. No, I'll, no, uh, no, no, no. I'll need some time to process. I'm not, I'm not flirting with you. I'm not gross. Yeah, I like that. No, 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 no. Necessarily feel like Caden has to die, but I am not interested in romancing him at all. Or this bitch. What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I think she's being straight with us. Or at least I don't think she lies very often. Mm. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Mm. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? You don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. 
Not necessarily. I don't see that as inevitable. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. Yeah, no, no, that's not, not how that works. Racism, not really. Yes, it is. Because their species will always be more important to them than humans are. You sound like one of those terra firma party pamphlets, Chief. Terra firma is a pack of jackals. The founders had ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. And you're doing what now? I hope my reasons are more rational. Nope. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, ma'am. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the service garrison forces. I did get a rotation I'm space punch that bear square in the nose. Marine yeah, Rifleman, right? Marine exactly. Certified. That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. You're lucky. I lost my family on Mindwar. Are you related to anyone I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. I read about Mindwar. The Alliance screwed the pooch on that one. Should have had a bigger garrison. Is that why you're out here? To take the fight to the pirates? Uh... No? Mainly I wanted to serve. Protect the Alliance. Save lives. You know? Glad to hear it. I'd hate to think you were out here for a free college education. Yeah, you need to work with the fucking aliens. All right, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're gonna have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? <laughs> What's up, arms? Hell yeah! You ready to go to Enshrouded? Are you? Is that? Are we? Uh, are you? You good to? You good to hop in? Dismissed. Chief. Not quite the pick me up game I was yeah. expecting at the twenty hour mark. Uh, you know, here's the thing. So we finished Death's Door, and then uh, chat voted on sci-fi or fantasy. They chose sci-fi. Uh, I asked Survival Crafting or RPG. They chose RPG. Mass Effect was the best fit of what I had in my library. So that's where we are. But, um, I know today's our data stream in Shrouded. So if you're ready to hop through in Shrouded, I can hop over there now. <laughs> Let me know. Just need to have some breakfast. Okay. So, we've got Saren on the run. Damn straight. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Damn straight. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Wait, you met the guy? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. Okay. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. Mm -hmm. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. Just wanted they to check in first. For Sounds good. Too. So I checked it out. Okay. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open. And he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? 
What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's hmm. why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. So long, Rex. Hmm. Neat. Shepard. Doing all right. Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. Wait, what? You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, c -Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. No, that's not that's not accurate. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. You're welcome. Well, let's go see if Tally has anything interesting to say. And then I think might just pop on over to Enshrouded. Tis about that time. Oh, hello, Shepard. Oh. Are you okay? <sighs> Three hours and your ship is amazing. And your eighteen crew minutes. Especially your chief engineer. Yep. <sighs> but I just sort of feel out of place. Out of place, huh? The Normandy runs so smooth it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? Like a baby. The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. I see. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Hmm. You're homesick. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. Alright, fair enough. I should go. See you later. All right, guys. So I think this is a good place to call it for right now for uh, Mass Effect. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and save. And uh, then I think we're gonna load up and shroud it and get ready to pop into that. So, Sonya Yin. Alrighty guys, give me just a hot second. Let's go ahead and get enshrouded up and running. And then I have to pee, like really, really bad. Just, uh, oops. There we go. What is going on? There we are. There we go. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, update stream info. Y'all ready for this? What's up, Buck? How's it going? We're getting ready to uh, swap over to some Enshrouded with uh, Um Sadre and uh, Sonia Valentine. I am very excited about this. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get into the game. And then I need to make a piddle. Like, something fierce I gotta be. <laughs> so, uh, all right. We are in. Let me get, I need to get into the Discord, too. So let me do that real quick. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now we're in the Discord. We're, we're, we're sitting, we're ready. I got it. It's going. How are you hanging? I'm hanging, yo. I'm hanging. We got just over, just over three hours to go. Um, but that's okay, cause this the this is this is I was gonna be here doing enshrouded with arms um, and uh, and Sonya anyway. So uh, so we're here. We're doing some enshrouded. I gotta pee, yo. I'll be right back. <laughs> you are vibing, and I love it. Thank you. Can I have a cookie? Yeah, yeah. Have a cookie, Monster Man. That's fine. Have eat a cookie. Go for it. Cookies. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys.
guys know real quick. Oh shit! Big Brother Gaming, we got a Raya too. Yo, welcome Raiders. Thanks so much for the raid, Big Brother Gaming. Appreciate you. Yeah, sorry, I stepped away for a quick second. I'm actually gonna go refill my water bottle, and then uh, we'll be right back, and uh, we'll be doing some more um, some more uh, intro. You, you got that, honey? What do you want? Uh, yellow, please. Never mind, yo. My incredible stepson is going to go ahead and refill my water bottle for me. <sighs> Fun being a dad. <laughs> ah, we're working on it. All right. So we're here. We're ready to go. Hopefully Sonya will be, uh, and Oms will be joining for too much longer. Um... But I think I can do some basic stuff like, uh, let's see, what do we got for, uh, the flax? Flax seeds. A decent amount. Not, not terrible, not terrible at all. Um, I'm trying to remember, no, we didn't put down a, we did not make a, uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Smalls. Clutch steps on, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Buckeye, clutch steps on, let's go! <laughs> to be fair, yo, I have probably one of the most amazing stepkids in the whole fucking world. Like, he's incredible. He's amazing. And I am so lucky to, to be his stepmom. That's actually how I said it as I typed it. <laughs> That's awesome. Shit. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, I definitely feel that way being a stepdad. Yeah, yo, I, I, I got real lucky. Like, I, I, I would hear horror stories, not just from, like, step parents, but from, like, people, just, just their kids, like, they're, they're actual, like, spawn and offspring, and how, uh, how, how miserable things were, and I just, all I can say is, man, I don't, I don't have to deal with any of that shit, like, my, my stepson is incredible. Get in here and see. So we're gonna take these. Eh, 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 eh. That so twenty one. Close enough. So, the linen that we have, let's see, so that 20 or so is going to turn into, what, it turns into how many seedlings? 10? Okay, yeah, so that's going to be at least 100 or so, right?
Can you use snapping to place plants? I actually don't know. Yes? Huh. Yes, you can. Never occurred to me to try. Oops. All right, so we're not going to have quite as much, but that's okay. We'll have we'll have more. I did not realize that you could do that with snapping. That's actually kind of cool. I saw Sonya planting some things very quickly and efficiently and figured that must have been how she was doing it. I think that's valid. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is going to be... It's going to be a hot second before these seeds are all done. But that's okay. The important thing is we're still going to have pretty, pretty flowers around the house. Can I use a chicken as a basketball? I mean... I don't know how well a chicken is going to dribble. Um, I'm not certain what their buoyancy is as far as their ability to bounce. Now, to be fair, if you slam it into the ground hard enough, theoretically it should still bounce up a little bit, just because, you know, impact and whatnot, but I don't know how well that's going to work for repeated dribbling. Um, and my understanding is that if it's if it is if it is frozen, uh, maybe. Sorry, I was thinking live chicken. Um, a frozen chicken. I th frozen chicken. I think you're gonna have a better luck overall trying to use it as a ba as a as a basketball. But um, then again, it's still not terribly. <laughs> it's not terribly aerodynamic for that. Although shooting it in the basket will probably be easier than shooting a chicken because they're probably gonna you know. You have to account for the fact they're going to try and correct it by flapping their wings and whatnot. Then they might get stuck in the netting um, because they've got extraneous bits like claws and wings and beaks and necks and shit like that. So, I mean, technically, yes. Technically, anything could be used as a basketball. Um, I just don't think the chicken is your best substitute for an actual basketball. Um, but I mean, you're welcome to try. Plug both ends and inflate it with air. Also a viable option. Um, if you're not concerned about, you know, animal cruelty violations, then yeah, that's, that's certainly an option. Oh, I should repair my shit. How did we get on the side of the... I don't know. Monster Man did, just asked a question. And I'm... Flying on almost 21 hours of a stream, so... Yeah, almost hold on. Exactly 21 hours of a stream, so... How about a brick? Also a viable option. I think you're going to have more success, especially shooting the baskets with a brick than you are a chicken. Um, but it's going to be significantly less, like, bouncy. So... Um, I don't think it's gonna, I don't, I think dribbling is gonna be where you're gonna run into issues with a brick. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired, so, uh, I'm entertaining anything for conversation at this point. Now, I mean, if you're looking for something that's going to, you know, a substitution for a basketball that's not an actual basketball, um, I mean, if you're going to go something in, you know, the animal world, maybe a pufferfish, but you're going to want gloves, um, and make sure you scare it first. 
Um, if we're not looking at mammals and we're looking for something just vaguely available for a, a, a ball type thing, um, what's up? Uh, roll toilet paper would work, uh, provided you, you know, kind of keep it, find a way to keep it closed. Um, because then it's definitely going to cause issues and it's just going to get smaller and smaller. Um, but it'll bounce. It's roughly about the same shape and size. Well, shape, not so much size, but shape. I'm trying to think what else. Because we don't want to go with a balloon. A balloon is just, I mean, it, well, I mean, you could you could dribble the balloon. The problem is going to be shooting the balloon because then you have to kind of wait for it to come down and then there's always the chance that if there's just enough resistance in the net, the balloon will just get stuck in the basket. Or pop. What? Or pop. Or pop. But I think or getting pop. stuck is more more the issue we're going to run into. Um. Okay, I dropped my tail. Let's let's try to not drop the jello on the guitar. <laughs> oh no shit, really? I... <laughs> Can I eat on a plate? Yeah, well, Can I eat a planet? Yes. I don't know. Can you your top? No, 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 no. I, I, well, I'm assuming we're gonna take it in bite-sized portions. Um, now, for are we talking about for competitive play? Oh, that's another. That's a. Uh, I mean, sure. But I mean, as far as eating a planet goes, um, I, yes, absolutely, you can eat a planet. Now you're going to run into problems when you start getting towards the core, um, because that's going to burn a little bit. You're going to want to make sure you blow on it first. Um, and the salt water from the ocean is probably going to dehydrate you. But you said eat a planet, not drink a planet. So if you're ignoring the water, and then again, do you consider molten lava and molten rock as, uh, like, what's going to be in the center of the core? Do you consider that as liquid as opposed to solid? Because if we're going, if we're just going on solids, there is moisture in food. This is true. This is true, groundsman. Oh, man. Spicy core. Very spicy. Yes. That is definitely going to burn your ass on the way out. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Y'all are making me fucking slap happy. I heard, dang it, I was just gonna make that spicy joke. <laughs> oh, fuck nuggets. Oh, I'm sorry to get your asses in here. We got shit to do. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see, did I... Oh, oh, that's right, because I got all this shit for you, Oms. I felt, we found stuff. We found stuff for you, and it's pretty awesome. Um, is there room in here? There is... No, no, no. That was not English. That was not English. I, I don't know. It was... Bells. Um. Okay, we got faces in there. Let's let's do this. Uh, 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 no, no, I right, stop it. You here? You here? I right, why? And then. There we go. Arms. Um, I have all of all of this for you. We found a mystic chest, pants, a check out that wand, yo. And uh, a hat and some gloves. Sonia and I found a whole bunch of wizard gear whilst we were out uh, last week, out and about doing stuff. And um, so I'm going to make sure I brought it home for you. Squizzy. Why 
do I have this? I don't feel like I need it. Yeah, I thought you'd be excited. We found some pretty, pretty snazzy stuff for you. I don't think anybody's going to want this, so we're just going to salvage it. I can't salvage this. So that I'm going to put in my uh, personal chest. I think there's room. I th think I also probably jump in on the stay off audio till I'm done eating. Oh, that that's valid. I mean, whatever works for you. I don't want you to, I don't want you to actually feel pressured to hurry up and get in here. I just, I'm excited to give you the stuff. Ah, uh, cock baskets. Um, That'll work for now. Up, oh, it's almost night time. Yep. I'm gonna go sleepy pie. Come, check the chest. It's all in here. Do the thing. Check all that shit out. I put everything in that chest right there. Yes, in there. Find all the stuff. I want to test out this new wampum stick, actually. Because I haven't really done anything with it. I don't have any... Okay, I don't have any skills. So that's good. Hey FC, how you been lately? Oh man, I'm I'm doing retro night. How are you? How are you doing? We're uh we're in the home stretch of a 24-hour stream. Uh, Mike Coven redeemed the 100,000 channel point 24-hour redeem. So that's what we've been doing. That's how that's what we've been. So we're on uh we're on hour 21 and uh, we're going strong. I see a fellow knight there of hells, yeah. Is this lore? Did I miss a lore? Fuck me running, I missed a lore. Ahem, <clears throat> Captain's Journal, day six. The raiders have besieged us these past two days, attacking from the bridge. Their eyes, such madness. We have withheld so far, but only just. We may not survive the next assault. I have ordered to rig the pass with our last munitions. If those scavengers return, we are prepared. Hey, Maine, what's up? Hello, sir, or madam, etc. Maine. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Thank you so much for the safe space salute, Maine. Ah, uh, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Oh my God, is there more? There's more lore done. How did I miss all of this lore? Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Captain's Journal, day twenty. We are hungry. We had to destroy the bridge, and with it, our connection to supplies. But it worked. 
We haven't seen any more scavengers. The Cinder Vault and those within it are safe and should remain so. If we are to avoid starvation, we may have to take our chances in the horrible shroud. Either choice is certain death. Not much chillin', always. <laughs> Can I eat a galaxy? I mean, in theory. Sure. I, um... I'm good, a little sick, but I'm okay. Oh, yo, I was there last week. Last week, I was... I was very ill last week. So I'm... I, I hear you, and I am sorry that you're dealing with that. Alright, let's just... Have a quick look to see. That ain't bad. I mean... It's, uh... It's a little overpowered for a level one, but that's fine. Galaxy is the name of a chocolate bar. Hey! There you go. Might have to, indeed. Might need some potions and chainmail, Valkyrie. Mmm. Can I eat the Milky Way? What is up with wanting to eat these celestial bodies, Monster Man? I... Are you okay? Like, are you just hungry? Do you need to go get lunch? And the three musketeers that I hate raw. <laughs> Milky Way is also a chocolate bar. Mm, this is true. I just want to make sure you're okay there, bud. Whoa! Look at you, arms! There we go. Now you're looking like a proper wizard. Yes, you are. You got a better hat and everything. Have you know I was one of the two that could best three my years. <laughs> the other died on the spot. <laughs> Scoozies. We got this. Although I am curious. So, to strengthen the flame, oh man, we're gonna need a whole bunch of stuff. That is nowhere near where we are right now. Can I eat the sun? No, you cannot eat the sun. Technically, the sun is made of plasma, you wouldn't even be able to chew it. You might be able to suck it up through a straw. Uh, assuming that the straw was able to resist the heat, you'll need to make an. You'll need to invent a new kind of straw. But in theory, yes. Eat what you wish, but the corona is difficult there. Also true. Also true. Oh, I wonder if my, uh... How are we doing here? 40? Okay, not not too bad. Let's, uh...
Am I alive or dead? In theory, I would... It's, it's, I mean, this is a computer, not a Ouija board, so alive? May I hug you, monster? Yeah, I feel like you might... I think monster needs a hug. <laughs> no. Grab some water. How much water are you going to let me scoop there, Well, I mean, I'm not complaining. Damn, I just got 20. Okay, there we go. Oh, you're good. I could really enjoy this game. Oh, this game is great, Retro Knight. This game is a super fun blast. <clears throat> What's the name of it? Ah, uh, it's Enshrouded is the name of the game. And it is super fun. At least I've been having a good time with it. Mm. Yep. <clears throat> How you like your new wand? Did that? Is that is that an upgrade? I hope it is. I'm trying to figure it because... I'm sort of moving more towards the, uh, the, uh, not the wands, the, uh... Oh, the staffs? The staff, that's the word I was looking for. I'm losing words already, jeez. <laughs> I've just gone up. <laughs> I'm sort of moving towards that, but, um, so, because of all the different damage types, I'm mm -hmm. sort of trying to keep it all covered. Um, and if you've got ammo as well, that's the other thing. Mm. Um... So I might have to... 28 damage, 38 damage. Because that was lightning level, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. 18. Might have to retire that one. Bring that one out there. Because it's always good to have something to fall back on when I run out of ammo, but... Mm. A few different demo damage types and a lot of ammo I'm carrying in my inventory at the moment, so... Um, salvage that. Salvage that. Okay. So I'm trying to remember... Good thing happened three days ago. Oh, what happened? And I would like to thank you for persuading me into getting back into streaming again. Dear welcome! You reached a new status, eh? What status was that? Oh, God, so sorry. Oh, not yawning at you. Hells yeah! Retro! Congratulations! Oh, chat! Chat! 
Give Retro some congrats, yo! They hit affiliate! Hells yeah! That's awesome! Oh my gosh, that's fan-fucking-tastic, yo! Good job! Good fucking job, yo! Oh, man! Well done, that's always a tough hurdle. Yeah, it is! Yeah, it is! I, yeah, oh yeah, I know, I know, man! Well fucking done! Good job, Retro Knight! Good fucking job! Yo, hold the, hold the phone, let's just, let's just do this. Get you a shout out, hey, yo. Let's get you a fucking shout out. That's awesome, oh, man. You got a follow from me. Heck yeah. Yeah, chat, if anybody ain't already following, drop retro follow. Let's celebrate this shit. Good job. Oh, goodness, excuse me. I'm all belching. All right. Ums. So, uh, yes. what you got? Charity went towards local area mental health nonprofit. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. Oh, well done. So, where, uh, what you got in your quest log? Where you want to go? I have... Uh... We got, uh... Black Cauldron for the Alchemist. Blacksmith's Request. Need of a tanning station. Can we get a tanning station, or am I thinking something else? Uh, nope, I've got, I've got that too. Um... Uh, Almanac of Plants and seedi Seedlings. Story of Rot. Fortified. That's just a chest, I think. Yeah, I, I think the that was, anyway. the blue quests are the ones that are. Uh... Oh, just yeah, just the side ones, yeah. Mm. And then I got a whole list of those. I appreciate the help and guidance, yo. I'm so I'm so glad I'm so glad it helped. I really, really am. I'm so fucking happy for you. That's exciting. Good job. Good fucking job, yo. Hell yeah. I have a question, Arms. Um. Yeah. May I hold your eternal spell for a moment? I want to see if that actually finishes my uh, the quest that I have for that. Oh, sure. Uh, I don't know if you want to put it in the uh, like uh, maybe put it in the chest and I'll take it out of there real quick and then put it back. That one. Oh, hang on. Was that the right one? Yeah. Ah, it worked. Yeah, I've only got one eternal at the moment. There you go. It's all back. Did it do anything? Ah, uh, yes. It completed the quest. Oh, good. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Ding! Ah, <laughs> oh, that's right. There was a thing to craft eternal heal, but oh, I think we needed resources there, didn't we? What do we need for that? Because we can get that too. Um, look at this. Eternal heal, eternal fireball as well. Ooh, nice. Ah, oh, I can. Ah, oh, okay. We need an alchemy station, but we've got the resources for that one. The eternal fireball. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I need the. Yeah, I need an need alchemy, alchemy station. station. Okay. So then. Let's do that. Um. And how do we do that? Uh, let's see. Is that the black cauldron? No, it looked like a bench, I think. Hang on, let me have a look. Uh, eternal. Oh, yeah, there is a cauldron and a stove and. Yeah. I will pray for your safety. Crafty. Well, cheeseburger or plants, cheeseburger.
Still have trouble finding stuff in this, uh, crafting. <laughs> what are you, uh, what are you looking for? Trying to find where to craft that and how, what we need to craft that. The alchemy bench? Yeah. I feel like we're going to need the cauldron to make the alchemy bench, is my guess. Was that another mission itself, was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, Black is. Cauldron and the Alchemist. Yeah, that's probably, you probably... Well, we've got that, um, that flame shrine that's not far from there. I mean, it's a, a closer than anything else, I guess. Oh, well, there's two of them, looks like. Uh, one up by Pike's Peak and one down by Pillars of Creation. I'm not certain which one of them is going to be the best one to get to where we're trying to go. What are your thoughts? Because they look like they're about equidistance. Maybe the Pike Peaks is a little bit closer. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to find on the map. Hang oh, you're a good. Second. Show on map there. Okay. Yeah, I don't have much in that area. I don't have anything over there. Um, um I say much, meaning yes, I don't have anything. <laughs> well, <clears throat> like I said, over to the so. To the west, we've got a uh, uh, flame shrine over at Pike's Peak, and then we've got another one, the lower one uh, down by the Pillars of Creation, where we found in the newer area uh, down there. I, I think the closest the... You've, we've got a home, home yeah. level one. That's like the closest teleport. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I see two of like... them, one to the south and then one to the north, both on the west. Oh, there's uh, one there too. Oh yeah, okay. But I'm both thinking even distance. Yeah, that's why I'm wondering which one we should go to. Although the one further south, there looks like there could be some high walls around it. Mm. Judging by the uh, topographical layer, I could be wrong, but... No, you could be right, too. There's probably a way around, though. And, I mean, there's we've got places to hit on the way there, no matter which way we go. Truth. Um, well, why don't you call? Do we want to go to the north one or the south one? Uh, you know, we'll go to the, we'll go to the south one. Okay. And route. I feel like there's, uh, it might be more of a challenge getting there from there. I just feel like with those rocky walls, but still there's a lot more places to hit up on the way as well. Sounds good, yeah. Alrighty. Jeez. Yeah, I haven't even been to this area yet. Oh, you haven't? Oh, that's where you're getting the clay and stuff, wasn't it? Uh, no, this is, um... We put this down last... Last time. What? Oh, I might have been up to another stuff. It's gonna give us another flame? Okay, well, interesting. Did? I guess the uh, flames respawned. That was neat. Hmm. I didn't expect that. All right, well. Oh, shit. <laughs> trying to see, trying to think what would be the, I guess maybe go around this way. All right, what's our first? Um, well... What do you got on your map? Oh, I've got a lot of shredded, uh, shredded, a lot of uh, shadowed areas, so I don't have much here. I've got three flame, fr flame shrines on the way, and there's also a question mark. Blacksmith's request is also over there too. If you want to try and head there first. Off to the east. Um... Blazing Rock Trade Outpost. Oh, okay. Sure, let's head that way. Looks like All that's right. going to drop us down. Ah, uh, okay. 
Unless we go around this way. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, let's see if it... Yeah, we'll, we'll try that. See movement over there. What's that? Oh, more of the furries. Oh, that's a... I don't think ice was tour. doing much for him. Nah, I think for like animals, they want fire. Uh, you want to use? I yeah. think, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong, but I think that's what it yeah, was. Yeah, well, the the wolves and stuff are. I figured it probably was, except the uh, I've fire spells in this in the wand. It's too short range. Ah, gotcha. Why I'm sort of trying to get head towards more using the staff because they're so short range. The uh, the wand. That makes sense. And it puts you into trouble. Hmm. Sorry, I'm distracted. Oh, you're good. <laughs> uh, I'm just checking the waypoint where I'm going. It's yep, this okay. Looks like we're jumping. Alright, here we go. Whee! Actually, I'm gonna... Is that just plant life? Or was that oh, a... it's a sugar cane. Sugar cane, oh, okay. I probably should collect one of those too. Oh, good, we got friends. Oh, well, hello. Oh, got a green boy over here. Oh, it's a spider, even better. Ones are good for rapid fire than for the auto locking, but uh I suppose everything has got its purpose. Law. Hooray! Oh. Oh, okay, we'll lure in a second. Oh. Oops. Oh, you're, Sorry, you're fine. Really excited. You're, I, <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I, I get the same way in combat. No worries. <laughs> yeah. It takes a few seconds for it to charge up, and then uh, by the time it releases, they're dead. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, what'd you find? It's a meat chopper. Whoa. <laughs> I'll send it to you in a second. All right. Eh, 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 em. Rafa! You said they'd be here Monday by noon. Well, I waited for ages to pick up that parcel for Oswald Enders, prepared a wagon and everything since you said it'd be heavy all for nothing. Tell the Conway brothers to send a raven when they get here. Although, if they tried to cut through the Umber Hollow, we might shirk them for good. In my defense, I told them not to take that route. It might be their last. Well, we got friends? No. Ah. No, it was mine. Sitting ah, in the crate. Okay. I just went to salvage. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no worries. <laughs> oh, I'm all done. You're done? Oh, there's another yeah. one at the back here. I think. I see glowing. Boy, 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 yep, boy. there is. Hooray! Lore, 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 lore. Oh, it's not glowing for me. I must have read it already. Oh. That's okay. Okay, so now it looks like... Did we find the thing we needed? Uh, I guess that's not highlighted anymore. Okay, 
Uh, well, is there anything else new highlighted flying. on there for you? There's a flame shrine out to the east. To the east. All right. We can do that. Oh, okay. All right. I think... I think I can make this... Gonna have to go slightly into the shroud, but that's okay. Oh, maybe not. Ha-ha! <laughs> Made it. Oh, shit. No. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Like, am I getting... There oh, you just go. Just barely. Well yeah. done. <laughs> Good job. I always believed in you. Actually, I should uh, probably eat some of these food buffs as well. Oh, that's a good call. I didn't even think about that. I forget about that. They just don't seem to last very long, so you, see, you forget about them. Mm. Chicken! <laughs> Want those chicken wings? Oh, there you are. <laughs> hey! There's the flame shrine. Nice. Okay. So is the Conway camp the next place that you have that is uh, uh, quest-wise? Hang on, Blacksmith's request oh. is this over here now. Oh, okay. Just over to the east, a bit further, just the other side of this thing. Okay. Have you got that? I do. Yeah. I'm just going to be in the shroud. I'm sure that'll be fun. Oh shit! Oh jeez. <laughs> wow. Talk about an ambush. <laughs> he was just right yeah, there. Yeah, it was dark. I ran by, I only saw the ridge, and I was like, oh, fuck nuggets. But there we go. I thought you must have fallen off an edge or something like that. I'm just, then I see this silhouette <laughs> just sitting yeah. there waiting for yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oopsie doodles. All right, so. It's more into the breach. <laughs> Hello, bugs. Lord, <laughs> night watch. I only dozed off for a second or two. I swear, I thought my brother would wake me, but no, the foul breath of an outlaw ripped me from my dreams. I woke Matthew, and we dashed out. In our rush, we even dropped the gift and the note the girl wanted us to ship. What now? <laughs> Whatever. So what if some creep roughed us up? So what if we lost the stupid present? Time to improvise, Matthew said. We'll write our own letter. Nice looking paper. Pristine. He won't know, you see. So now we just have to sign, but there's an issue. I forgot her stupid name. Rachel? Reagan? Ah, if only I didn't drop that cursed letter back in Jasper Isles. Hmm. I just found an experience shrine. Ah, uh, experience uh, scroll. Oh, hell yeah, use that. That, uh, that kick, that, uh, gives you a little bit of bonus XP. A little bit of catch up. Uh, say, 
Yeah, you got that, yep. Found another lore. Fine, I admit it. Shortcut for the Umber Hollow was a bad call, but we had no choice. That laggard Hank snoozed, so we'd be late to the out to trade outpost Blazing Rock without some quick thinking, and I'd lose my gold coin. We can't have that, see? Of course, Hank slept through his night watch, resting in Jasper Isles. S stupid. Reckless. B lost the goods upon fleeing. <sighs> no matter. We'll write our own letter, and the gift, well, Blacksmith won't know what's missing. I'll sign something lovely, get my creative juices flowing. Hank can help. Guy will be none the wiser. Easy, see? Okay. Also, beat these up. These are new and exciting. We're gonna want them. I think it uh, unlocks something, Alchemist. Mm -hmm. you but I've got uh, five minutes left. Oh okay. I've got uh, six minutes and forty some seconds. Um, but that's probably because I have the uh, I've got a perk that extends my shroud time. Yeah. Alright well let's um, find a way out. There's another shrine. Unless we head up to the other shrine. I don't know whether that's going to be out of the sh out of the shroud or not but um, looks like there's a shroud route. Okay. Would that uh, be what our mission is? I don't know that that's what our mission is, but if you follow me, we should... Whoop, is that deadly shroud down? I can't tell. I don't think so. It looks green, but sometimes you don't know until you get there. Okay, I think if you can get to where I am. Yep. And then we'll... Whoop, that's red. That, that's Deadly that's, Shroud. Yep. But, looks like there's a bridge. And probably bugs. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot easier. I'm trying to see if I can see oh, the damn God. thing. Oh, you didn't fall down, did you? Okay, good. No, just uh, couldn't get up to where you were. Oh, balls. Okay, hold on, careful. There's a lot of... There's a thing down here. Oh, hey! <clears throat> Blacksmith tools. Oh, nice. If you want to get down here and collect them, go for it. I can figure out how to do Ice that. Ice blade! Without... Don't mind if I do. Are you kidding me? Uh-oh. Oh, dear. I got, I'm stuck. Hold on. There you go. Thank you. I got you, boo. That's what I needed. Nice. All right. Uh. I'm gonna try and find a way up and out. Oh, Fox oh. cocking sake. <laughs> Can we? Dead end. Nope. 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 No. Nope. 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 We got stairs. There was law back there, but uh I got it already. And more law. There's lore here too. Oh, it's just a scythe. Whatever. I don't care about okay. that. Okay. 
Um, how to get, how to get out of here. Uh, you want to shoot that mushroom? And actually, well, one, it in that way. maybe the mushroom over here too, the one on the door. I can't, ah, uh, yeah, there, yep. I don't think that's going to let us do Oh shit, it. I got a minute 20. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, I've got three minutes, so even if you do drop... I know it's just, oh. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck baskets. Alright, this will be fun. Just, well, okay. careful. Yep. I am experiencing a little bit of lag. This way. This way. Here it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Shit. Uh, it's okay. I got it. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's down. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Hell yeah. We did it. Hooray. Let's see. So, uh, da, 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 da. Mr. Jasper Isles. Um, looks like the Black Cauldron of the Alchemist is due north of here. Um, but I think there's other stuff around here too, if I'm remembering correctly. And also, I don't want. I don't. And want there was that. lore you missed. What? Lore? In the padding. Damn it! Yeah, I think there was, yeah. I did mention it, but uh, I think you were you were focused on getting me out of there <laughs> before I died. I was very focused little, on uh, that, yeah. prison thing. Ah, uh, it's okay, I'll live. There's something glowing in there, though. I don't want to know what it is. Or is that just the shroud on the other side of that wall? It might be. That doorway's clear. Oh, it's a... Uh... Oh, there's lore! Ha <laughs> ha! A chosen gravesite. Amber was found dead in Surat's rest. She'd escaped there, hoping for a better life, but loud and righteous girls like her don't last long in Pied of Vipers. Oh, shit, we got a raid! <gasps> Tiki Ray! Whoa, the raid of seven. Welcome, raiders! What's up, yo? How's everybody doing? By the way, that's not part of the lore. That's the raid. That's the raid stuff. Um, <laughs> how are you guys doing? Welcome, 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 guys! Uh, love this game. How are you liking it? Oh, man. Fucking loving it. Fucking loving it. So we are we are in the... Yeah! We're going, going strong in the 24th stream. So, yeah. So, uh, earlier yesterday... Uh, my coven uh, redeemed the 100,000 channel point redeem for a 24-hour stream, so we're here. We're doing it, and uh, we're going strong. We've got uh, about <laughs> two, uh, uh, three hours, a little over two hours left to go. So yeah, good. Been playing uh, on stream the last couple hours. Wanted to move everyone somewhere that's also enjoying it. Cool, cool, cool. So are you playing some Enshrouded 2, Tiki Ray? Is that what's going on? All right, hold on. I'm going to go back to the lore here real quick. Ahem. <clears throat> We are both consumed with grief, but her mother can barely get out of bed. As husband and father, I have agreed to pick a place where we can lay her to rest. I think the tree behind our home will do nicely. A quiet orchard by the river, her favorite place to sit and ponder. She's so bright, so well-spoken. We are nothing without her light and grace. Deciding what to write on her tombstone is pure torture. My heart feels so heavy, I might have turned to stone. 
Uh, yeah, I was, I was excited, yo. Like, I mean, you can't say no to that shit. Yeah, I love building in games. This one is exceptional for that. It is really good for that. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't one, complete yeah. with their... <gasps> We got more lore? Where, 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 yeah. where, where, where? <laughs> where's the lore? 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 Oh, hell yeah! Do, 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 do. Eh, 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 Ah, dearest Amber, wherever your spirit walks, Please know that you've shined brighter than the ancient flame whilst you blessed our lives. Boring. So everybody's so dramatic in this game, I swear. Oh, got him. Nicely done. <laughs> Good job, Arms. <laughs> I sniped him out of the sky. I didn't think I'd be able to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get back out here, out of the shroud. <laughs> By the way, guys, so we're playing with the one and only Amsad, right? Uh, if you have not, actually, let me go ahead and give him a shout out real quick. If you have not already uh, dropped Am's um, uh, uh, follow, please do. Thank you very much. Because uh, he's an incredible, incredible streamer and super fun uh, to watch. So I just want to make sure he got a shout out. And actually, let me give Tiki Araya a shout out, too. All right, got another. Lore over here for you. Sweet, I'll be there in just a second. Yep. Thanks. Make for the sure shout I'm out. spelling this correctly. Oh, I have to wait a minute and forty three seconds before giving another shout out. Damn it! All right, TQ <laughs> Ray will get you a shout out here in a minute and light mode. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, can I? You probably should have done the Raiders first, but anyway. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I <laughs> if you know the cool, out, cool down. I did a good. stupid, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> However, uh, I'm going to drop you a follow, Tiki Ray. I appreciate you. I uh, appreciate the raid. Absolutely appreciate that. Um, <laughs> just happy. So yeah, we'll we'll get this. We'll get this. Uh... Do, 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 do. I also come from playing in Shrouded. Looks like. All right. As soon as I get out of my my cooldown, we're gonna get you that shout out. <laughs> All right. So, ums, where are we going to next? Right, oh, wait. You said there was more lore in here. Hold on. Sorry. Yeah, in there. Yep. Eh, 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 em. Lore, 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 lore. Umber Hollow Rumors. Hello, Emma. It was strange meeting you in the market, somewhere you should not have been in the first place, but I managed to slip this note into the shipment to Umber Hollow and hope you find it before someone else does. Even though we've only spoke briefly, I could tell you were a decent woman. So the rumors of Umber Hollow being a deplorable place where cruelty abounds cannot be true, can they? I have heard so many stories of thievery and corruption. I sincerely hope that we both come to understand one another now that the world is changing before our very eyes. We might just need one another to survive. Please write me back from Carlos. <laughs> Your name was the whole reason. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Thank you! I love my name. Uh, cause I'm a fat chick and I like the game, so is what is what we do is what I do. <laughs> All right, I think I think we've done enough time. I think we can get out. Yeah, okay. Shout out Tiki Ray. Chat, if you ain't following Tiki Ray already, please do give them a follow. All right. Doot 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 doot. All right, I'm sorry, um, I was asking you what to do, and then I got distracted by lore. Where are we going next? Lore. Right now. <laughs> I get very excited. Uh, well, there is a another shrine to the uh, northwest, I suppose. Okay, I think I see it. We gonna see if we can't get there. Sounds like a plan, except we gotta go through. Uh... Deadly Shroud. Oh, Tiki yeah. Ray, thank you for the follow, yo. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it looks like we are... Might be a way around this way. Yep, yep. Yeah, because I think there's the Deadly Shrine that we want to get on this side of the bridge, if I'm thinking correctly. I'll take point. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, well, I mean wizard hit points. And wizard... <laughs> uh, is this, uh, oh, we got a... Here? There's, wait, there's more lore? If you didn't already get that one. Oh, I, I got. I think I got it already. But uh, uh, there's a road over here. And you got this one as well? E yes. Yep. Yes, okay, I had that one.
I was thinking may maybe the road would be a good way to go to... Okay, we got... We have... Stairs and... Oh, ball, baller skates. Nice. Nice. Nicely done. So we need to get up here? Oh, God. Oh, that's Deadly Shroud. That is not a we want to overshoot. How the f um, fuck baskets are we supposed to get over there? Um, we got got to go right around. There's a... Uh, hang on. There's a little... So if we go north, there looks like there might be a ridge there. It's hard to tell if we can get there, though. Well, let's give it a shot. I mean... Might have to go around that way, maybe. Ah, uh, that's heading back to the shroud, though. Deadly. Grapple point. Oh, that's to get over to there. That's not going to help what? us, other than the chest. I'll leave that for you. Ah, it's just, a, just an axe. I mean... We might have to go around to get to that, maybe. I don't know. It is okay. I am. I don't know if I can that make just it. Looks like rivers are deadly from me. Yeah, it does look. It does look really bad. Yeah. Maybe we gotta go. Yeah, maybe we gotta go back by the shot route and uh, try and keep on that side of it. I guess. Oh, if we get. Back to if we go back to the uh, unshrouded area, mm -hmm. we can teleport to the other home. Maybe we need to get it to it from that end. That's, a, that's not a terrible. Don't know. Well, hold on. Let me let me uh, let's get to the unshrouded area first, then yep. check the map. Yep. All right. Let's see what we got here. So, Because there is another shri uh, shrine to the northwest, but there's just rivers of dark shroud to get to that. Yeah, there is. So unless we need to get back to the mainland there and get from the other side there. I've got old shadow there, so I can't tell. Yeah, um... <sighs> Why don't we try going straight north up to the uh, Black Cauldron for the Alchemist? Uh, but that was all deadly shroud that way, wasn't it? I don't think so. Hey, it was, uh... I could be wrong, but I think... I'll tell you what, uh, hold on, before we go anywhere, do you have a shroud flask? I... I do. Okay, drink that. All right, let's go. Well, let's let's yep. get things uh, time up and then. Okay, here we go. To the north. It looks like we got bridge going over the deadly shroud. So at least that's that's. Okay. That's better than I, I was thought. Thinking we that's were where we were before, but that's because we we're trying to head to the other shrine, wasn't it? Mm. Oh yeah, I'm getting lag. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I wonder if my, my computer might be getting a little overheated just because of the being on for, <laughs> it's been going for a while. So long. Well, hello, what is this? I feel it. What? Ah. I see it. I'm just wondering, sometimes these towers will pull us up out of the shroud. Yeah. Okay, that's a jump that can just be made normally. That's fine. Um, and a ladder. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, because if you go inside over here, there's a ladder. Man, these pants make my ass look great. 
and uh, <laughs> a chest. You wearing pants? <laughs> I guess, yeah. All well, the pants that I'm, my, my character's in. Um, it looked like that might be... Ooh, sh Shroud Meteor Shower. Oh, that nice. Like fun. <laughs> That's definitely all you... I'm gonna just check and see if maybe... Ow. If maybe there's a, uh... Oh, yep, we it's should be able to jump foggy. here. No! Oh, piss, Anything. baskets! It looks You're like right, we should... Yeah, down. yeah. Uh, no, I didn't go all the way down. It looks like we should be able to just hop over there. Um, give me a hot second. Are we still heading north? Uh, I mean, I was gonna, but I was also looking at this over here. Oh, what's that? This looks like there's some land. What? Why? I'm about ready to take a break, uh, eat maybe a weekend nap. <laughs> I'm going to hang and lurk, though. Good luck for the last few hours. Thank you, yo. Appreciate you. And thank you so much again uh, for the raid, Tiki Ray, and for the follow. Super appreciate that. All right. See you later. I don't understand. There's no reason that shouldn't work. Uh, let's see. Are you trying to find out? Your way over to the shroud. Uh, the, it's shr the I keep saying shrine. The shroud is a shrine. Oh sh! I see what you did. Yeah, the, I, 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 for it's whatever an invisible reason, wall. Yeah, it, the, the thing is that it's like uh, I, I got through it with a double jump, but not a regular jump. And up here, we're out of the shroud, which I kind of expected. Do you have it? You probably don't have a double jump, do you? No. You might have to glide it in. Yep, that worked. Okay. Yeah, if you come up, um, there's Straight stairs up, and ladder, and yep, once we get up to the top, then there's a... Uh... Oh. Uh, yeah. And ladder. a fancy chest. Elder's Staff and Fowler Helmet. I'll take both of those and pass you that staff. <laughs> Well, this is refreshing up here. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. Let me know if that staff's any better for you. It might be. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of seriously considering just... It's only 426 meters. I kind of want to just try and jump it from here. And see if I can get to it. Oh, <laughs> so it weird. looks like after I upgrade that one, it will be a little bit better. Hot shit and awesome. Alright. Uh, so, yeah, you should be able to grapple up to me. Um, you see what I mean, though? I kind of want to just... Oh, wow. I kind of want to just chance it. Uh, hang on. We're, we're, so we're just heading towards the blacksmiths? Yes. Cauldron? Yes. Yep. All right. Because we can come back for that flame shrine through back the other way. I think so. Which is over that way ish. And it might actually help us get a more of a layout of the land, too, if we do. All right. Well, shall we then? Let's do it. Hell yeah. In we go. Watch him for Deadly Shroud, watch him for Deadly yeah. Shroud. <laughs> so far so good, so far so good. Alright, we're good. We're I'm good. We're golden. We are golden. We're down. I think I might have seen some lore. Oh, there's a... Oh, there is! Thing. Hell yeah! Alright. I okay. saw something glowing red underneath us. It might have been that or it might have been the lore. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Another time. But we got a road here too, so uh, that's good. That's always a good sign. Hell yeah, it is. Let's go! Oh, man. My whole stamina. <laughs> yeah. Well.
Out of the shroud. Oh man, but how do we up there? Like oh, wherever. Guy. You got it? Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, a rocky face. Yeah. We're not wrong. I mean, if we follow the. We could either try and dig our way up or follow the wall around. Well. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, okay, so. That looks like. Mm, no, I don't know. I think it's a way up. I can jump it, but I've got the double jump. Yeah. But. Oof, okay, here's where it's gonna get dicey. Hold on. Once I get up here, I'll uh, I'll see if I can drop a teleporter. I think. If I, if I can get up here. Okay, that's not quite gonna do it. Uh, let's see. things. Neat. Do I have stone? Cock baskets. Alright, hold on. Let me find it. <laughs> Let me check if I've got... i got limestone. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what a... No, no, no. Rock. Yo. Hell yeah! Regular stone. Fuck yes. Hopefully this will be enough to get you a uh, teleporter up here. Yup. Hot fucking shit. Did it? I sure did. I got you a. Nice. I got you a teleport up here. Thank you. <laughs> I was in the middle of digging my way up, but I'm slowly making progress. I mean, now actually, here's the next question. Um, how are your weapons right now? Are they good still, or? Uh, yeah, mine fine. Okay. I'm gonna leave this here for now, but I think we'll probably want to uh... dismantle. Well, yeah, eventually. But when we're done getting the blacksmith yep. stuff, oh, there's that location yeah, I'm down there. below. I'll be up. But should the worst happen, we'll have some place quick to be able to teleport up here. Yeah, that's right. Alrighty, shall we? Sure. Let's go. Rattlebeak. Oh, good. We. Uh, whoa. I thought. Oh, gross. <laughs> Nope, nope, <laughs> nope, nope. I just Don't touched it. In. That's all I did was touch it. And then it... <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not touching anymore. Gross. That is just creepy as balls to me. Uh-uh. Done. Ugh. Need heals? Yep, that's right. No, it's right. Okay. You only tagged me, I just wasn't ready for it. Ah. Oh, got another one. Wow, he just ran right past me and went straight to you. <laughs> <laughs> but they know the soft targets. <laughs> I guess so. That one's got wizard hit points. <laughs> Let's go for that one. <laughs> Shit. Okay, um, hmm. <laughs> oh, I hear more skittering. 
something tells me there's more rats. Where you at, fuckers? I hears ya. I hear them. Where the fuck are they? They're waiting for me to come out. I guess. Uh. Sound like they're caught in the walls or something. I wonder if they're upstairs. Oh god, there's spiders. Never mind. It's not rats, it's spiders. Piss the fuck off! Oh my god, gross. <laughs> fuck! I hate spiders! Give me your nails. No me gusta. No me gusta at all. Oh, I spiders. forgot about that spell. I hate spiders so much. I fucking hate spiders. <laughs> I hate them so goddamn much. Oh. Okay. Don't drop down there, it just takes you back downstairs. Ah. Well, at least now I know what you what I was do. here in Skitterin, so. Mm. Alright, so we're still looking for, uh. What? I don't think we've been in this building yet. Oh, and it's shrouded. Neat. And of course, lore. Hooray! M. <laughs> <laughs> A hunger in the dark! I've gone mad, I know it! The years of solitude have made my mind brittle. The void. The maw. Inside the black cauldron, lingering, waiting, spinning, clouding my mind with its sweet, foul smell. It calls to me, whispering. I don't understand what it says, but it knows. It knows I'm empty. It's empty, too. Hungry. We are like the Cora. Hugs and kisses. Whoop. Oh god, I touched another body. And there's a basement. And more lore! <laughs> <laughs> I cried out! The void answered. The maw was famished as it called my name, lonely, yearning like me. I had no choice, and it knew. Caught between teeth, sharp as razor blades, my sides cut and split apart. I slipped under its tongue, spinning, suffocating in its warmth. It holds me inside. We are the same. We are one. Why is my flesh hollow a pit? I am a pit, empty, starved. I am nothingness, the absence, the void, the few, the many, the all, the abyss itself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, I get super excited about the lore. It's fun to read. <laughs> oh, shit. Also, thank you for the follows, oh, the follow, Zulin. Super appreciate that, yo. <laughs> I can't help. Yeah, just there. I'll lift a flail in there Woo! for you. That's a, I think that's a two-handed flail, but that's okay. Uh, There's an exit here if you want to. Is it? Hey! Hot shit. Oh, god damn it. Another human thing. Gross. Yuck. <laughs> Whoop, critter. Come here, buddy. I whoop. I'm the kill mail. That's an Eve reference for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, so it's moved to the white point. Where is it now? Oh, it's up further north. Okay. Alright. Well let's head north then, I guess. Oh, also, hold on. Um should we? My inventory is getting pretty full. You asked about repairing before, but that's more. I'm carrying a lot of stuff, which. Okay, before we I could probably leave. Some more stuff, but... Before we leave, yep. let's come over here and beat up this because we're gonna need it. Uh, get your pickaxe out and just start chopping away. This? this is fossilized bone. Oh yes. And we are gonna want as much of this as we can carry. Uh, cause we're gonna wanna get it in the grinder and start it grinding up. And I'm just gonna... Oh, stamina. Actually. I think there might be some requirements for... Non... 
do you you grind it down, do you, all the time? Because I have a feeling there was something I needed fossilized bone for. Uh, you might you might do that too. Um, that that might yeah. be a thing as well. Uh, let's see. Hold on, I have a crazy ass idea. You putting a uh? I am. Grind. Yep. No, no, I'm putting down a, a fire so that we have arrested buff so that we can get proper. Oh. Yeah. Come, sit a spell. Cause technically, under this little bit of bone here, we are technically sheltered. So, uh, well, I mean, it won't be a huge rusted buff. I think it's like, what, six minutes or something like that. But it's, I mean, better than nothing. Five. Five minutes. My bad. But you know what? Still better than nothing. Oh. Uh. Aha. Is there many of these deposits like this? Um, yes, there are, well, I mean, you can kind of see, because it's, it's, like, if you, uh... I'm just wondering if we need, we should put a home here. Um... Delete that one up there and then, uh, put one here instead. I actually wouldn't bother, because we, we'll be able, there's a couple other fast travels we'll be able to unlock that are not far from things uh, like this. And they also are going to respawn, too, which will be nice. So, I think we'll oh, be Oh, they okay. do respawn. Yeah, they do, which is really nice. Damn convenient. I sit down and recharge my stamina. <laughs> You're cooking. <laughs> yeah, I thought I might as well while I was sitting here resting up. But, I mean, uh, you might as well, yeah. That's valid. Yeah, free up another slot. Oh. Give me all of your fossilized bone. Give! Give it to me! I have way too much energy for being this deep into a 24-hour stream. <laughs> it's it's what you're at that stage where your body starts overcompensating it, with uh, hyperactivity. <laughs> you know, I, you're probably not wrong. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Can't swear I'm digging. I'm looking up my own skirt. <laughs> Woo. I'm trying to dig up. Do you have any water? No, I do not. Because that gives you stamina buff, doesn't it? Water. I might. I uh, I don't have any water. Any water that I had, I ended up putting in uh, <clears throat> into the flax seedlings. But I figured I was just gonna do this until my pickaxe broke, and then, uh... Mm. <clears throat> and that way we've got all this back home, too. Because, um... Yeah. Well, that teleport's not too far away. No, it's not. You can always do a home run. Correct. I was thinking exactly that. Pop in a squat. And then once we get back home, we can get us a proper rested buff. Yeah. That's a big fossil. Yeah, it is. But that's okay, because it's full of bones. Delicious, delicious fossilized bones. There's so much of it. <laughs> Which I'm fine with. I'm absolutely fine with. Because uh, we need it. All of it. Give, give unto me.
you, you, yeah, yeah, you be using the copper pickaxe. Yeah. I am. Just wondering if there was a upgrade yet. I've missed, but no, I'm still using mm. that. No, but yeah, I still have the copper. You have a copper, right? Yep. And it just, well, not anymore. It just broke. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I also have the, uh, the, the feet, uh, not feet, but the, um, the skill thing that, uh, extends uh, yeah. the, yeah, that thing. <laughs> the thing with the stuff. <laughs> uh, Alright, um. Oh, we got, uh, friendlies? Fr friendlies? Friends. Are they, are they, are they real friends or are they mean friends? No, I've made friends. Oh, there goes my pickaxe. All right, combat. <gasps> I think that's a lore over there. I see. We... Please hold. Wait, I don't want to run away and leave you. But I see a lore. Yep, it's glowing. Yep, no, we're good. I, we're I need it. I need it. I need it. Right, let me There's up. something there. Oh, shit. You okay? Yeah, yeah, we got something here. Oh, yeah, we got, uh, looks like doggos. Puppers. No! Uh, those things. Hold on. We'll, we'll be there. Oh, looks like you got you That's got right. this. I'm good. Well done. I'm good. Yep. <laughs> you had that shit on lockdown, Holmes. Didn't even need <laughs> me. I couldn't tell what it was. It was only a silhouette to me. Fair enough. <clears throat> Expedition log number one. Since our caravan has slipped into two, every day feels more desperate. How I wish Queen Justine had stayed. Y'all ready for this? Browns Arcade, thank you so much for the safe space salute. Uh, sorry, I'm in the middle of back to Laura. <clears throat> Her grace and <laughs> beauty would be a much needed balm. Just yesterday, I heard Laszlo sobbing in his tent. We saw signs of survivors at a flame sanctum. It was a whole day's diversion, and for nothing. Despite the shroud encroaching on them, these fools do not feel the need to join our ranks. Let them pray to their ancients and see how long they survive. We must stay on track. Pikeman's reach is weeks away. Hugs and kisses, Commander Cirrus. Alrighty. Okay, I got enemies walking on the spot here, so I... Um, oh. I seize them. I'm just waiting for one to ah! get on top of me. Suck biscuits! <laughs> mm. You can also give me your stuff. Alright. Shall we... Shall we put... Oh, there you okay, are. Okay, there was just the... There's a grapple point, so I thought I'd come and see what it was. Oh. I'll come to... Whee! Some glowing... Loop. Oh, it's just a bird. Okay. Oh, harvest that Dead shit. Dead bird. <laughs> did, you get, did you get its meat? I got its mate, not its feathers, because okay. my inventory's full. Fair enough. All right, shall we uh, pop back home, and then we'll uh, come back for some more adventures here once we get stuff yeah. prepared? Awesome. That is a good idea. All righty. We're mm -hmm. so close to that cauldron now. Mm-hmm. That we are. Here we go. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Nova, how's it going? Do 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 do. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, need to do the fixie. Fixie done. And I gotta put a bunch of shit away. Um. Hmm. Right. We're probably gonna want to move these faces. That way we've still got mo uh, room for the, uh, fossilized bone. Da, 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 da. Sage leaves. Is that gonna be a... Uh, that is a mage thing. It increases your spirit. Ooh. Plus four spirit, actually, if I remember correctly. Yes! For ten minutes. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. Oh. Huh. Alright. That in there. I know I picked up some nails. There we go. Um, I don't know what else to put this shit in. Do 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 do. Okay, 
Okay, well, I guess feathers can go in here then. Those in there. Don't mind me going the opposite way of that. Actually, I'm gonna put the uh, mint mushroom meat in there too, cause oh, the uh, blacksmith's bench. Do we uh, place that, or do we? Oh, we talk to this guy maybe. Uh, oh yeah, looks like he's got things to say. I should probably leave those for you. Well, um, uh, <laughs> to talk to via via your law, <laughs> telling the story for this dream. I see. Uh, give me a second. Uh... I've just been click click click. I I just did it though, but oh, that's fine. You, I don't know if you you can still talk to him or not. Uh, I'm not concerned. No worries. Do we have? Nope. Okay. Do 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 do. Put the chicken wing in there, and then. Okay, we can just get rid of that torn cloth. We do not need that. Oh, okay. You've already put down the uh, blacksmith tools. Okay. I didn't put it down, but I think Sonya might have. Now that I see it there. Right. That's the alright. Fuck, Snugget sake was I doing? Um. Okay, that's just regular. I don't think. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything to salvage that. And. Salvage that. Salvage. Hold on, I just I need to know. Nope, yep, that's two handed. Fuck that. Mm -mm. Salvage that. The Elder Guard. I'm curious about you, because if I upgrade you, are you a better sword? I feel like yeah, I, I do find that a bit annoying. How you can't tell until after you upgrade it whether it was as good as what you had. Well, it's better sense. sword, definitely better. Gives some ice damage, but that's okay. Right, hell. Hells yeah! All right. Oh, hi. Yes, please. Oh God, yes. All of the hells, yes. Give, give, give. And we're just gonna salvage you, because we don't need you. And uh, then go put these runes back. Um... Okay, armor, armor things. I think there's rings in here. I'm gonna just put faces in here too for right now. Because we don't really have a place to put faces. Uh, can sugar cane go in here? It can. Hot shit. And the salt can go into the tanning bench. Or the, this thingy. Not tanning bench, but whatever the fuck this is. And, oh god damn it, I still have... Where did I, where did, is it? Yeah, die. Uh, nope, not there. Where is the thing? It is, uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Oop, okay. Uh, fuck baskets. Where am I... Ah, shit, Gibbons. Take you. I'm gonna put you there. There we go. Um. Just cook up some corn here real quick. Hey. It's a very nice sword, right? How's it going, CC? But yes, it's a very nice sword. I like it very much. That's a nice sword. It gives me the happies. Okay, so put that there. Put you over here. Oh, gods, I still gotta put these sparks away. Um. Yeah, that top left. Yep. Dig it. Okay. I think I am repaired. I am uh 
prepared and ready to ready ready to ready to yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! Does this glow yeah, a little I'm bit too? Oh, it just has just a little glow to it too. <laughs> it's like Sting. It's so pretty. All right, I'm gonna go stand by the fire pit and uh, prep this up proper, and then I guess. We could go. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! <laughs> Head back to the uh, the teleporting point and uh, wait. Is it still night out or did it go into day? Looks like. Uh, day's just coming up now. Sweet. Day's coming up. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I knew. I it's okay. I yes, I knew exactly what you were saying. <laughs> the important thing is that we're communicating. We don't have to actually even yeah, speak English. Right. So long as we understand each other, we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man age leaves actually uh um, I need to use the little girls room real quick um I will be yep. right back sure I'm still sorting my shit out anyway Grilled, grilled. Pop that up. Put that away there. There we go. Oops. I'm carrying way too many explosives for just one mage. Fossilized bone. Okay. Now, what do I need fossilized bone for? That was for something here. Chain heal. Eternal. Ah, that was for the eternal heals. Station. Antiseptic and tin bars. Oh my god. That'll be the next thing. How do I make it antiseptic? Had to stop and give Tear Bear pets on the way back, but we're good. <laughs> My motto, yes, good work, friend. Let's see what we can craft with it. We've had that for a while, buddy. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Sorry, it was just uh oh, you're good. To the life. You're, you're good, you're good. Alright. I think I'm gonna port back over. Yep. Ready to go. Hot dog. Let's go. Yeah, to get the eternal heal spell, still need uh to be able to craft antiseptic too, and I've no idea. I'm hoping that's going to unlock when we get this uh, station. Maybe? But it's possible it also could be something we get from the uh, the farmer as well, maybe. Oh, is that a tower over here? How you, uh... Yeah, that's not on my... How do you feel about a sidetrack? I'm happy to do that. Okay, give me a second. Let me, uh, let me, let me pull up this thing here right quick. We're going to just, uh... Uh, let's see. Extinguish the flame. Yes, extinguish flame. Okay. Because I think if we're going to go over here, we don't need... Oh, okay. Yep. Alright. Well. Shall we? Oh, that is a nice sword. Yee. That's a pretty. And it glows. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Wee. Oh, what's going on? I'm hearing combat music. No. Nah. Okay. Yeah, I don't see. Yeah, it stopped. Anything. Okay. Whoop! Well, hold on, but there might be there might be critters over here. This looks like some kind of den. Oh yeah. Whoop! Oh, hold on. Friendo's over there. Chicken! <laughs> ah! Cat. <laughs> oh, something behind it. Oh. I hear it too. Take that, you stinky cat. <laughs> that friendly fly is not on. <laughs> That's not gonna be Chicken! Get over here, get over here, get over here. Are you, you son of a bitch, get over here. Motherfucking chicken, give. Give me your delicious flesh. Oh, hold on, friends over here. Um, alright, well that happened. Oh, yep. Alright. <laughs> Light with the fireball again. <laughs> I was thinking I was the wand, and I was uh, rapidly pressing the uh, <laughs> spam and the uh, left the trigger button, and it does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Got to charge it first. <sighs> mm. All right. All right. Off to the tower. Let's unlock this fast travel. Just trying to keep my eyes open for any delicious lore along the way, because it keeps looking like there might be little campy things, but I don't see any lore, so that's fine. Tower up, it's a little. It's a nice oh, little lookout or something up there. Ancient spot, whoop! I wish there was a quicker way to change between damage types with the staff. Mm. I wonder. I wonder if macros are an option. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a a key to do it. I've tried holding down the charge and pressing the numbers, but it doesn't work. It seems like you have to hold down the right and then scroll with the mouse button. It's the only way I can figure oh, out how to do it. Oh, I see. Yeah. And I tried having a second staff with a different damage type on it, but you change your ammo in one staff, it changes it for both. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, I'm heading up. Yep. Okay, well, it looks like... Uh, I did not mean to sit. That's one. Oh, I see another one. Two. 
There are stairs down. There are. Oop. Stuff. Yep. Fossilized bone, fired brick. Alchemical base. Interesting. Tin bars. Oh, tin. <laughs> this looks like something that would kill me. Saved by the double jump. Sorry, I just want to see what's in here. Or, uh, no, that's alright. It might be a button out there. There's not much point in both going through. Gotcha, gotcha. Sacrificing my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's valid. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I see it, I see it. All right, door is open. Or at least it should be. Door is open. Ooh. There is a fancy looking bow and... What a... Executioner's Axe, level 20. Um, I'm actually probably not interested because it's probably a, uh... Oh, what is the word oh. I'm looking for? Okay, there is another way over there. <laughs> I just realized I could have gone oh, that way. Oh, man. Oof. Thank you. Yeah, I hit the, uh, I found the things and they hurt. Mm-hmm. Oh, hang on, I'll, I'll give this to you. I'll leave it up to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thanks. I'll put the, uh, the bow in the chest back at the, uh, base. Maybe down here? Say, oh, yep, here's the, here's the teleporter right down here. <clears throat> nah, break up the things though. Ooh, oh, me. okay. And we have spikes. <clears throat> alchemical base, alchemical base. Ooh, good shit. Fired brick. Heck yeah. My god, I can't believe I actually got away with that. <laughs> uh, do you mind if I head up? <clears throat> No, you go late. for it. I'm okay. just having a look what's... Ah, oh, that just comes around the other side of where you were. Oh, okay. I bet you I won't make it back. <laughs> now make I've it done back. that. I got myself cornered. So many things to beat up. Give me all your stuff. We need all chemical base for, but there's a goodly amount of it in those things. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> I'm breaking all the things and getting all the stuff out here. Just gonna beat them up. Whack, 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 whack. Ooh, a lot of scrolls. Indeed. Oop. Right, button is pushed. Oh, hey. I did not mean to come across here. <laughs> That's okay. No, look, you, you can come up to the, uh... 
There's the... You just disappeared on my screen. No, 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 look up, look up, look up. There's a, there's a... Oh. Yes. Thank you. That, that too. <laughs> oh, I got some antiseptic! Nice. I know you said you were looking for that. There's a lot of spikes. Alright, I'm gonna go to the other side and see if there's anything... Whee! God, I love the grapple mechanics in this game. <laughs> yeah. Really, I really do. They're so damn They are smooth. fun to use. <clears throat> Is this where we came in? Might be. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty confused. There is more. S uh, so the when the light's on the button, that means it has or hasn't been pressed. Ah, uh, has not been pressed. Okay, I found another button. Sweet. Push the button. Oh, the spikes are doing weird laggy shit. That's right, I got that. Oh, you found another way. <laughs> there we are. Oh, and a chest. Chest is all yours if you like. Acid bite. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, it's a uh, spell. Nice. Hell yeah. I'm glad we're finally finding like lots of good stuff for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe because we're doing a. This is. Oh no, it's not even the cauldron thing, is it? No, it's uh. It might. It I wonder actually, because. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> What's up, Nova? Thank you for the safe space salute. Appreciate the hell out of you. Oh, hey, stuff. All right, so what do you got here? Uh, is that a? No, that's not a. Hold on. Whoa! Hmm. <laughs> that's a thing. Is it worth me coming up there, or is it? Uh... I. You might want to not. Yep. All right. Uh. Only because. Okay, I pushed a button. Oh, um, yeah. There were many. There's. I don't know if there's another. I don't see anything else over here that's not this stuff here. Yeah. Yeah, there's fireballs. Oof. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Because I can. <laughs> no, I appreciate it cuz um I did run afoul of some of the uh some of the fireballs. As if I don't have enough trouble with spikes, they're uh, lagging a little bit for me. <laughs> Got you. Oh, no, that was my own doing that one. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm not certain what's going on here. Can I open this door? I cannot. No. No, you probably can't. Woo! <laughs> I got caught in a spot. I went when I tried to open the door. Wouldn't open. I just panicked. Did they just stop? They oh, stopped. Good. Oh, good. Ooh, more acid. Fossilized arrow. Um. Good luck, arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking at that thing. Can I do this? I took a little bit of lava damage, but uh, pretty good. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you made it. I was a little concerned. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I uh, 
<clears throat> yeah, without the double jump, I just made to the island, but when I hit it and rolled, I went right to the other side of it, so... <laughs> oh, hell. Okay, this looks like one of these things. Alright, we got this. Up, oh, hold on. It's just, a, it's just a button. It's just a button over here. Ah, uh, yep. At least the, sp uh, the spikes aren't running at the bottom, so... Hooray! A button in a couple of pods, but... Alright, so... So that opens down here. Um, yes, down here. Ah, uh, yep. Welcome back. I, congratulations. What? What? Congratulations. What happened, CT? What? Are, what are we congratulating you about? Congratulations, they're back. Uh, no, it's, uh, Nova said congratulations to Cece. What are we, what are we congratulating? What, what happened? What are we excited about? What, tell what me, tell me, tell miss? me. The Nomad Highlands laced with forgotten provinces of adventure and riches. Its underbelly is a wasteland, a hunting ground for the condemned. Those below gaze up at the glistening dawn above, tracing the faraway gold streaks of morning light with their fingertips. Enough is always out of reach. All right. Well, now we got to. So that's a. So is that a quick travel? Yes. Yeah. It most certainly is. Okay. So. Oh. Okay. Nope. That's not Laura. That's just a. That's just a thing. Never mind. I got all excited for a moment and realized that was dumb. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'll bet. I'll bet that's where we're headed. Nope, I lied. That little patch of shroud over there. All right. I'm thinking that little puff of shroud over there is where we're headed. It does seem to be about the direction. Well, let's go. Looks like it's, uh, landable. Comfortably. Oh, ow. Or not. Not for me. I nearly just died. Don't, don't do that. Kill I hit that little uh, pillar. I thought I'd land on that, but no, I hit that, rolled off the other side, and didn't have the wingsuit out anymore. Yeah. Physician, heal thyself. All right, I'm good. All right, well, into the shroud we go. Didn't want to run too far ahead without you. Yeah, you could. Cradle of dusk, huh? What is this? Where are we? I'm at. I don't understand. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, I see it. Location below. I got it. Whoa! Oh, arms. Boss. I. Yes. All oh. right. You ready? <laughs> uh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go get its attention. <laughs> Oh, balls! Oh, man, that hurts! Okay. Just trying to fight. Shit. Don't die. Okay, so I anyway. one for it. Uh, what a 
Come on. Whoa! Oh, there we go. oh shit. Oh man. Uh, That's okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Don't worry about me. I got. I got shit. heals. I got heals. I got heals. I'm fine. Meals on you, but oh, I'm getting don't worry. Like, don't worry. Don't when worry. You can't don't worry. Whoa, all our skates. <laughs> Almost got him. There he goes! Nice. Woo! Fuck yeah. I think that's... And he's got the cauldron! Hells yeah, let's get out of this. Let's get out of this shit. When a friend shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I'm here when I miss! I'm here to help! Fuck him, skull. Ah, oh, out, out of the shroud. Out of the shroud, out of the shroud, out of the shroud. Holly. Woo! All right, so what, what, let me just make sure I take a look at it. So, yes, Black Cauldron, that's it. And we got the Fell Monstrosity Head, which was the part that I was actually concerned about uh, for for that. Um, and now we can craft the antiseptic. I think? I had to go through three different damage types to work out which one was actually hurting it. That's okay. You're fine, yo. Um, I have a thought. Hold on. Follow me for just a second. A yeah. crazy ass idea. <clears throat> Cause if I'm thinking correctly, and I might not be, but I think I am. Mm -hmm. Uh, hold on. First, we need to deal with these fuckers. Yes, this way. I'm gonna cheat just a little. Just a skosh. There's a fire here if you want to get a uh, buff. Fuck yes, I do. Hang on, let me move over so you got room. There Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Oh, I can comfort in here too. Hell yeah! Excellent. I don't have comfort. That's okay. No, it's complete. just this corner. Yeah, swap. Oh. Oh hell, you're not wrong. Wow. Just gotta get right in the corner for it. <laughs> oh well, I mean for an extra minute, <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, so. So what are we? This way. We got something here, do we? Yes. I, um, if this is what I think it is, I happen to remember it from my single player game. Or not single player, from the, the, the enshrouded server I, I had my, the husband and I were playing on. Oh, uh, yeah, um, yep. And if this is what I think it is, uh, okay, be careful of the hole. But we want to get in this little cave over here. And, um, we... <laughs> We want to get in this little cave. There should be a. There's a shroud root, and behind the shroud root is tin. Oh, okay. There's like three places where tin spawns in this map, and this is one of them. Um. Plus. Heck yeah. Yep, right here. And these respawn. Yes. So I figured we'd just come over here and grab all this tin ore before we booked it on back home.
<laughs> in tandem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except I went for the squat rather than the sit. Yeah, I Wrong noticed button. that, but I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> Diggy diggy hole. Hell yeah. Mining all of this tin, all of this delicious, delicious tin. Give. Does this mean we'll be able to upgrade our... Maybe? I don't actually know what all is made with the tin, to be honest. I just know we need it to uh, upgrade the altar. Um, but I don't remember exactly how much. I figured we'd just grab as much of it as we could before our mm -hmm. uh, stuff broke and then... remembered it was a pretty decent sized deposit like it's not yeah. huge but it's big enough Cycle through my stamina before my pickaxe mm. breaks. But that's okay. Grab as much of it as we can. I think oh, I got a bit this time. much though <laughs> got about a sliver yeah, of uh, in the red <laughs> oh god yeah <laughs> same same yo alright that's me you get out your way Right, I started collecting limestone there for a moment too, so I think that we're done with the wall. Mm. Just don't want to hollow out the ground too much. Oh, no, you're fine. I just wanted to make sure I was out of your way so that you could reach everything. Oh. <laughs> I think I've got one more hit. <laughs> <clears throat> That's it. Three hits. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I'm walking away with 44, so that's not bad. All right, we want to just port home? Yep. All right, let's go. Where are we? There we are. <laughs> yes. There you don't realize we... how fun that was sometimes, do Hearts of iron, you got what it takes. Iron ore can be gathered at rich back mine deep below the shroud. Don't fret with a high enough shroud passage level, it shouldn't stop you. Yeah, uh, that's gonna be a hot second though before we're ready for that. Oh, let's see. So, what do we need yet then? We need ammonia glands, rubios, and one more spark. We've got. Okay just about everything else all right to make the alchemist station we need the black cauldron which you've got 
Yep, 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 yep. Here, let me drop that. And uh, we me... need wooden planks. Okay, uh, I've got the alchemist uh, station, uh, the, the the cauldron in this box here. In that box, yep. yep I'll let you All handle right. that. Yep. Get some other stuff put away uh, here real quick. Planks. Planks. Can we make planks? I think so. Oh, we can make planks. Yep, good. Just need to put some wood in it. That's what she said. I forget about the uh, refill stacks button. Oh. It, bro. Very handy to the sortie. Yeah. I just forget to use it. Don't feel bad, yo. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to put half of these. I, I figure we probably need some more planks. So Tossing you gonna... an experience scroll? I've apparently had three of them, so... <laughs> Was, what, what level are you now? I'm assuming you're still... I don't know if uh, Give me just a hot second, I'll look. Uh, let me just try and get some of this stuff put away. Where does it actually say your skill level? Um, Character? I'm level 19. Ah, oh, 14. <clears throat> yep, okay. Oh, shit. Well, then, in that case, I here. will use that then. Take these two. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I can go. Alright, let's see. I don't even know how much it gives you. Mm, I don't either, to be honest, but. <clears throat> I figured you'd need it more than I do. You left one for me! And, well, I'm still level 14, so. <laughs> So I can't give you too much. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> I was hoping to give you a little uh, bit more than that. Alright, but I do have some levels to do. Uh, some uh, points. I'm I got left out that right there just for now. <clears throat> One of the things that cracks me up about this game is when your character runs the way you just stomp like crazy. Stomp, 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 stomp. <laughs> Very heavy footed. I know, yeah. right? <clears throat> hmm. Pardons. All right, so with copper and tin, we can make bronze, but I don't want to make too many tin bars just yet because we're going to need some to do to upgrade the flame. Let's see, so what all do we still need? We need one more spark, some rubios, and some ammonia glands. We don't have any ammonia glands, but that's okay. I know where to find those. We're just going to have to beat up some mushrooms, some walking mushrooms.
I'm sort of going through now thinking, yeah, I, I'd like to, at some stage, do a re-roll. Well, not a re-roll. Uh, respec. Respec. There's a few things which haven't really uh, done it for me. Valid. All right, well, hold on one sec, because uh, we got a cookie for a tear bear. Sure, sure. Alrighty. So I believe he is right there-ish. Give me a second, let me go get that cookie for him. How's it going, Taisho? 48 minutes to go, hell yeah! I'll probably actually play for a little bit longer, to be honest. Uh, depending on uh, how Oms is feeling. Beer. Well, I haven't been out for 24 hours, so I'm, I'm alright so far. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. One second. Yeah. Alrighty, he uh, he was a little tired, Taisho. I'm not gonna lie, he didn't go straight for the. But I put it next to his face and gave him pets. Uh, so, all right, CC. Uh, I, I'm I'm curious. What what's uh what are we what are we congratulating? What happened? What's what's the good what's the good thing? What's the good thing? I still slowed her. I still slowed her. What? I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go nap for the good of the, the good of the empire. <clears throat> oh, sure. <laughs> or is it already morning? Never mind. It's already morning. Okay, what, what the hell did I do over here with the flax? I feel like I've done something terrible. Kirk, Kirk. Shit, congratulations, Cece, that's awesome. She got the uh the member spotlight oh, for the, the spotlight safe space thing. discord. Hell yeah, that's congratulations. awesome. Congrats, yo. That's that's man, everybody's having such great news today. That makes me so happy. I love seeing good things happen for people around me. That's so awesome. Congrats, yo. I'm fucking happy for you. Deserve it. Mm-hmm. Um, where do we make the tin bar? Uh, we make that in the smelter. Okay. Same uh, place yeah, we make the... It. Yep, with uh, copper and... No, I'm sorry, not with copper. I was thinking bronze with just tin. Uh, just make sure we save 20 tin ore so that we can upgrade the flame. It's going to be the oh, Okay, yep. Um, what I might actually do is put it in... I'll put in, if I can figure out how to do that, hang on a second, split. Ranger Sonia Valentine reporting for duty late. <laughs> I wonder if you, hey. if you fell asleep. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's okay, yo. Welcome. How's it going? Aside from just, you know, waking up. Yeah. 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 We got the uh, cauldron for the alchemist. Grabbed a little bit of tin. Sun temple stories, huh? Sweet. Okay, that the chest close to the uh, the flame. I've got mm -hmm. there's 23 ore in there. Sweet. Okay. Because it's not a shared chest. I figured it might be safer in yep, there. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> that's not a terrible idea, to be honest. Um, and I'm trying to set up tin, but we need Charcoal? wood acid. Oh, wood acid. Oh, okay. I don't know if we have any of that. Let me go uh, start beating up some trees. And at the very least, we can get some of that going. I can beat up trees, too. Take that, tree! Uh, 
Wait, how far out do I have to go to beat up trees that aren't going to be affected by that? Uh, whatever. Sonia. Is that a craft or resource, or is it... Uh, you make it in the same place you make charcoal. Ah. Sonia, you, your wake-up voice is fucking adorable. <laughs> it's so cute. No, it's not. It is so... It is so cute. I am I am threatening and intimidating. Yes, you are, and you're also fucking adorable. <laughs> Alright, we have to put charcoal in there anyway, so let's let's do a C. Chopping down an entire tree calls me adorable. You are. You are so cute. <laughs> I just wanna pinch your little cheeks. <laughs> So should I turn the rest? You want to put the rest of the ore in the uh, thing to make bars? Uh, I guess it depends on what we want for tin or even bronze, for that matter. Um, oh, because you use the same. Yeah. Okay. Actually, check with the uh, check with the um blacksmith. What, what See if we... he's got an upgrade for um. Tools like pickaxes or anything like that, and if so, oh, see point. what it. Yeah, see what it is that they. We need to make that. Because I mean, we're probably gonna want to get more copper and tin anyway, but. Uh... You know what I find interesting. Bees. The. the... Well, bees are definitely interesting, especially okay, also in the interesting. Time. Uh they, they are not supposed to be able to fly per thermodynamics. However, the bees don't care and do it anyway. <laughs> Amazing. I did not know that, but I believe you because you're a nerd and you would know those things. <laughs> yeah, so it, it has to do with their mass to weight ratios and the, the size of their wings. Like, scientifically speaking, they're not supposed to be able to fly. What they end up doing is they 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 fly on the basically the same concept as a Harrier jet, where their wings beat so fast it creates a thermal downdraft that uh, keeps them in the air by or by, by it creates a thermal updraft. Sorry, um, that keeps them in the air by floating on this this thermal. Oh. You are such a nerd, Sonya. I fucking love you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like this is the, this is a, like, explained at the beginning of the B movie with Jerry Seinfeld. Like I don't know why you don't know this. I I've never seen the B movie. Also, you're a nerd, and I love uh, you. Probably a smart choice. You're an adorable, adorable nerd, and I adore you. The, ironically, the B movie was not even graded as a B movie. I I believe it might have gotten somewhere around a C. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, let's see. However, fun fact, mm. one of my favorite ASMR artists did a, co a collab when she reached a certain, I forget what, it, I think it was like the million, million viewers or something like that, but she collabed with a whole bunch of other ASMR artists, and they did a feature-length alternate audio for the B-movie. <laughs> Reading the lines in in in, uh, in that it it it's best done if you play the B movie on one monitor muted alongside their video on another monitor with the the audio for it because it's the yeah. same lines and everything but it's the ASMR artists doing it and their their attention to timing and detail was amazing really. Yeah, it was it was such a cool project. So if you ever have the inkling to watch the movie, I recommend doing it that way. Alrighty. We need more forest beats. Why am I why my audio sound bad? Mm. Uh, why your audio sound bad? I huh? was gonna make a chest <clears throat> for arrows. 
Because we've got a bit of a stash going over here. Oh, good call. Good call. Uh, I'm going to go... Um, what's oh. what's best for you, Sonia? Because this is going to be for... <laughs> Y'all ready for this? We're gonna have five stacks on this box over here. <laughs> What's up, what? What kind? Welcome back. What kind of arrows? Uh, various types. Um, hang on, let me just. I mean, some of them are probably. So we got poison, wooden, and, copper, yeah, scrap. Yeah, the wooden can get tossed. Yeah, bronze and fossil. Wood and fossil, honestly, can get scrapped. Like, we don't... No, need fossil's them. no There's... good. I just assumed it was good like... because it was a ladder no, resource, was it? No, I, I, I look at the damage. 17. It's higher than copper. Higher than scrap. But if you're using... Oh. The only one that was bronze is above it. I guess... Well... Yeah, that that's what it was. I'm sorry, I'm still waking up. So it's hard it's that's harder up. to make that than it is to make the bronze arrows, honestly. Why is that? Cuz the fossilized bone is super easy to come across. What is it what is it that you need to make? Just so we got somewhere to I mean I can chuck that. I can chuck the scrap. Yeah, but you don't want scrap either. I guess I guess it is. I mean, scrap are good because they're 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 good for the, the but the wood ones can just go wood and Wait, flint guys. honestly yeah wood and flint can just go <laughs> they're sort of ones go. for for crafting on the fly in emergency situations right. when you run out mm -hmm. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah I guess the fossilized bone arrows aren't as bad as I thought yeah so I was gonna chuck a chest somewhere and we can just all chuck yeah, our ammo in fine. in there and you can sort whatever. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where you want me to put it, though. That's not going to... I don't know. But can you put it on the ceiling? <laughs> can you attach it to a wall like a cabinet? <laughs> Is it that that would be do nice. That? <laughs> Lame. I wonder, I wonder if you put a, I wonder if you put a uh, shelf on the wall, if you can attach them to the... Oh. Science. Actually, let's let's have a look. Where was the wood? And oh, that's right. I did I did the thing, so now I got to redo the thing, and then. Oh. <clears throat> what was was ooh? Was I right? Oh, I just no, no, just something else I didn't know you could do. You know those explosive power balls you can collect. Mm -hmm. You can make an explosive power ball net. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Uses linen bigger, though. Bigger boom and yeah, I, I yeah. Guess it like atta attaches to the person or something like that. I, I think. I'm getting quite a collection. I might craft some, but it uses linen, so I don't want to get too. Linen's not that bad. I've got a uh, chest whenever you're ready. We, we... Are you working on a shelf? No. Oh, you were working on a shelf. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, you were, t you were uh, talking about what the construction thing is in, so I thought you were... Uh, Alright, I can... Is there a shelf? I think there's shelves. Maybe I just have to speak to the right person about it. <laughs> Probably the carpenter. Ooh, fireplaces are fancy.
Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Do you want it inside or outside? Uh, I mean, put it over here next to the, the gear, I guess. We've already got one that's got armor and... Ah, uh, yeah. And uh, we, we got ones like the rings and stuff, and then we've got... Yeah, see, see if I'll get out of the way there. Oh, we're testing the shot. Oh, it's just gonna be like okay. double stacking it, really. Can you make it go down any lower and like clip into the other? Can you see where I'm placing? I can't. Not sure yeah, I place. can. I can see. I can see, but I can't tell whether it's accepting that as a location. Yeah, that's or accepting not. there. I can go down. I can go right down as far as. Well, we might as well just double stack the trunks then. Um, is that a gear one? Is it there? Do we... Yeah, and those those are well. I can't remember what's what. The, the left is rings, the middle is armor, uh, and then the right one is weapons. So, I mean, if you just want to put the trunk down on the right side of the the armor. Oh, should weapon, I upgrade it then? I wasn't sure if we needed an upgraded if, if, one. If it's just if it's just kind of like for arrows, it doesn't need to be. Yeah. But fancy things. You're a fancy thing. I am a fancy thing. Damn fancy thing. Oh, you already got those? Yep, good. Here we go. Yeah, I've already I've already got my supply of four hundred and sixty-eight bronze, hundred and twenty <laughs> copper, yeah. and a uh, hundred flare arrows, so I've I'm got good. uh I just put a level twenty bow in there too. Purple, you might want to look at. with the arrows. <laughs> She had to lay down with me when she was bad. She wanted to remind me about a half hour. Yeah, well, uh, yes, technically, yes, half hour to go. It's true. It's very true. I mean, it's not bad, but the 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 ones that I already have have um. Oh, Mark of Samaith, Okay. How is it an epic weapon, but it does not have anything to be sure able to be unlocked on it? That is really weird. Oh, really? Yeah, it has it has nothing that you can unlock on it. That is weird. I put it in. Oh, weapon. actually, I have had stuff with um, specials. Um, I think I had that with a staff or something like that. Yeah, because like my Fell Commander bow, I was able to unlock Vicious, Precise, plus four Shroud Magic Damage, Stamina Leech, and Brutal with it. Um. And the uh, Nightwind bow that I have had Vicious, plus 5 Shroud Magic Damage, and uh, Head Seeker. But yeah, that one, while not a terrible bow, didn't really have... There's no way to upgrade it. Yeah. Oops. I may have shot the floor. Stop breaking my house! I didn't say I broke it, I just said I shot the floor. Oh, also, I, I love this combination of foods. What? Boiled eggs, vegetable soup, and chicken soup. Chicken soup does plus four constitution and plus one dexterity. Vegetable soup does plus four dexterity. And boiled eggs does plus three stamina and health regen and plus two mana regen. Oh, nice. I'm actually out hunting for more forest beads because we don't have any, and I don't think we have any seeds or like, seedlings for them. Beets. We need more raw food meat too. Uh, do we want to save some or not? Some what? Save some more. Save for the tin or. Um. Oh, did we check and see what was uh, with the with the blacksmith? If he had any other uh, recipes for um, 
Oh, that's right. That's what I was doing. I got distracted. Um, scrappy, cop up. No, I go straight from copper to bronze. Okay. There's no tin. <clears throat> so... So you need to keep raw for making bronze? Yes, I believe so. Alright, I'll take these out then. So I'll turn some of those into tin bars and save some of these. Wait, what? So, to make bronze, you need copper and, a t and tin bars. You oh, you need bars? Material, I thought you needed yeah, you the need raw. Bars. My bad, my bad, oh. my bad. Oh, yeah, okay. So we might as well turn it all in then. Uh, yep, gotcha. I was wrong, yep. my bad. Yep. All good. I am going to go turkey hunting. Ah, yes. Where did our... Okay, well, I, I I don't see a spawn thing over there, but I do see that we got a spire there is. unlocked there. So oh, that works. The spire is I a little further unlocked. off, but yeah, we have we we have the. Yeah, have the I have not unlocked so. that spire pri previously, so. Ah. Yay! Achievement! I reached it. Ooh. I cheated. Worst things have happened. Have you guys seen Bounty Barn? What? Uh, what? what? It's directly across from Lupa's Lair, where you went to get the, uh, the, uh, Hunter, the tannery thing. Oh, we haven't gotten the tannery thing yet. Oh. Why does it not show on my quests, then? I don't know. Oh, I guess it does show on my quest. Why does it not show on my quest? That's interesting. All right. Well, uh, I know where I, I know where to go to get the the tannery thing. What's this? Just a little cave. Excuses. Another little cave? I feel like... Huh. Interesting. Just a bunch of little caves. Now, this stuff like growing in the barn, in the the garden beds. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, shrub seedlings. Okay, we've got heaps of those. I'm just going to change the recipe. Okay. What are those ones used for? The shrub seedlings. Shrub seedlings are really good for giving me sticks to make arrows with. Ah, uh, okay. Yep, yep. Oh, we need fossilized bone dust for that. Don't you dare walk off of a cliff. Why are these chickens so stupid? It's like they're hey hey. Okay, and that needs some water. Also, it looks like my current quest is placing the blacksmithing tools. 
<laughs> we already placed the blacksmithing tools. Well, we just did, I think. Wait, no, there was somebody there. They're already there. <clears throat> That's really weird. <clears throat> I went to place and realized there was already one there, so I stashed it. <laughs> There's another one. These forest beats are just freaking hard to find. Yeah, I think they're they're like random spawns, aren't they? Like they're not. Is there a location for it? I mean, I I know the general area they they spawn in, but I don't know if there's like a specific place that is supposed what to be. What are you really looking for? Four speeds. Although I think I've got, well, I've got fourteen. I mean, technically that's enough to get some seedlings going. Well, that's definitely enough to get some seedlings going. Yeah. All right. I think I'll pop back home then. Do 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 do. I'm almost there. I know, right? We're getting there. We're getting there. Whew. <laughs> I'm gonna change the strawberries to beet seedlings. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, we need okay. to get more farm soil though. Ow! Fuck! Some in the box, I think. Yep. I think what I'm probably going to do is plant these and then turn them all into seedlings and then worry about just turn just it over. To, yeah, just to get a good <clears throat> a good group of good bit of crops. There was a monstrosity head in here. Yes. Uh cuz we have a we have a table for heads to, like a box for heads. Do we? I didn't realize that. Yep. I I am probably the one that put it in there, so my bad. No, that's alright. This is they're in the ring box. I think I might just uh, destroy some of these stacks of cloth because we have heaps of them. Yeah, that, I'm down with that. Destroying precious natural resources. <laughs> natural resource, yeah, precious, not so. <laughs> I mean, wait and wait, wait till a thousand years from now, and there's not gonna be any cloth around whatsoever, and the world's gonna be overheating. And you're, I'm gonna say, I told you so. Silly human. Alright, <clears throat> so, uh, we need ammonia in order to, uh, start getting some more, the upgrade we need, was it ammonia and what else? Wow, I'm totally... And one more flame spark, I think. Uh yeah, not so tough when I shoot at you from up above and you can't get up to me, are you? <laughs> All right. Arms. I heard the chicken. Yes. How do you feel about hunting some ammonia? Uh, where do we get that from? Well, we need to go into the uh, the green oh. shroud. All right. I'm just trying to get... Sorry, we need... Oh, please, take your time. Oh, where do you get aloe from? Have we got aloe? Uh, aloe is... Second area. Yeah, the, um, the, in the, uh... Same place as we get the, um, peppers and rubios from, which we need more rubios, uh, to remember yep. correctly. Yep. Same area. Oh, I think I saw some of them in the grab and I didn't realize. <laughs> you gotta harvest it with an axe. Alright, okay. <clears throat> 
Yeah, I need some of that to make antiseptic. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I can do my uh, heal chain. Uh, what is it? Not chain heal. The other one. Well, if we bloop up to the ancient spire, um, the one that we just unlocked, the Nomad Highlands, uh, we can probably head down, grab some aloe, grab some ubio rubios, because we need both of those, and then just kind of dip our way into the uh, yeah. shroud. Yeah, I got some of the. Uh... That's what I put in this plant here. Some of the rub rubius, but I needed fossil dust to get it growing. Dig it. But uh, we can go get more. Oh, uh, I think my inventory is... Yeah, it's not too bad. All right, I'm good. Hold on a second. Looks like it's about to get dark. Uh, we might need to nap for the good of the, good of the country. Good of the empire? Yep. Yes. <laughs> Did you need flax for something? Because I might, uh... So, I put down a, uh, old flame altar up here by the, uh, um, what's it called? Bounty Barn. Okay. Um, because it has a relatively, as far as I could tell so far, infinite amount of spawning of wheat. Really? Because yeah, nice. it naturally seems to grow wheat on the ground. And so if you uh, harvest it and then go away, and then later on it will regenerate with more wheat. Hot shit. And then we don't have to plant it. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh, nighttime. All right. Are you going for sleep? Yep. Napping for the good of the country. Good of the empire. Right, good. <laughs> I'm just harvesting flax, doing a midnight bit of midnight gardening. Dig it. <laughs> I thought Tibur was fussing for a second. Oh my! Something just happened. Ah, wheat seedling at seed bed. Excellent. Yep, I just <clears> picked <throat> it up. Oh, okay. And looks like uh, it's daytime. Alright, Alms. Daytime. Daytime. Hope you're getting some more water. Daytime. What you doing? I'm over again by nighttime and daytime. You want to play? <laughs> <laughs> Classic. I forget, what, I forget what the bird's other bird's response was. Oh shit, that's right. Oops. Oh, that's interesting. So spider versus cat. Spider wins. Hmm. Hmm. Now it may have been multiple spiders versus cat, but cat did not win. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, anything you want to plant in particular, or do I just plant this flax? Um, chickens. We, we want to I think plant it, chickens. I think we want at least one thing still of flax for right now, just because linen seems to go pretty quickly. But I do yep. want to reserve one of these for when we get the forest beats to be able to start flipping those. Yep. <clears throat> but I figure plant a full one and then we can just, uh... I think just one should be fine. And... Oh, the other advantage of the um, the the flame at uh, Bounty Barn mm -hmm. is the fact that it's right right uh, uh, right next to Lupa's layer. Oh, so nice. when you guys decide if we want when you guys decide we want to go and get that, that will be easy easily accessible. 
Alrighty. I'm gonna, um, Alms, if you don't mind, I'm actually gonna bloop over to that Nomad yeah. Highlands while you're doing that. Yeah, you uh, do that. Sorry, I'm trying to just garden a... bit planted. No, you're fine, yo. I'm, I'm just gonna go down there and start, uh, grabbing aloe and rubios, and then, uh, we, I'll wait before we go into the shroud. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, also, um, I wasn't yep. aware of their existence before, uh, but they certainly made themselves made me aware of them at, at one point. Mm -hmm. uh, in this new northern highlands area, there are large terror birds. Really? Yes. Love it. Yep, they will swoop down and try to peck your eyes out, I mean, and they hurt. I don't love that part, but I, I do love fact that there's terror birds because I love terror birds. Oh, they they hurt so bad. I'm sorry that they hurt, but I love terror birds. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure that they're specifically of the species terror bird, but they're terrifying and they're birds, so <laughs> Valid. I'm giving them I'm giving them the title honorarily. I'm just saying, like Ark, that's one of the things I love to breed is terror birds. That's because you're weird. I am not weird. They're adorable, especially when they glide and they flap, and it's so damn cute. It's okay that you're weird, though. Oh, hey! Uh, yeah, I found I found a pair of the terror birds. And? Fortunately, I am up above and uh, not within their area of hunting. Hooray! Yay. Yeah, yay. Now I'm gonna shoot one. Poor innocent little terror birds. Okay, apparently I'm not gonna shoot one. Yeah, we are almost there. It's true, it's true. We are getting there real close. Ten minutes. I'm, I am, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I am struggling a bit, but we're real close, and, uh... Riding, uh, riding the struggle bus out. a little. A little bit, a little bit, but that's fine, I don't mind, uh, we'll live. Holy, lots good, of... Good thing, good thing you've got a certified bus driver, right? Damn straight. Chicken! Alright, there's that. Come here, you fuck. I see you. Alright. As we were. Yep. Oh, chicken. Arms, are you still at base? What do you need? Uh, what is it? What do we need to do aloe seeds? Like seedlings. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, come in a sec. I'll have a look. <clears throat> You're good. I'm just planting some beets for you now. Oh, oh sweet. What beets? Get back here, chicken. What did you need the beets for? Uh, for the chicken or soup. Or anything in particular? For what, sorry? For the chicken soup. Ah, uh, okay. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, Is probably something everybody can Ooh. benefit from because it's uh... uh nitrate <laughs> nitrate sand and aloe neat yeah we're gonna be harvesting this for a while because i have no fucking clue where we get that shit Chicken! Chicken good. Get him! Get him! If only there was Murder a way to, like, breed chickens. I don't know, maybe they'll, maybe they'll introduce about that it. later. I mean, they seem to have some pretty grand plans, so... Yeah, and honestly, like, 
For an early access game, there is a lot. Yeah, that honestly, got this released. does not play like an early access game. No, it, it really, really doesn't. doesn't. It is very like, easy this... to forget. Yeah. Isn't it? I mean, I, I do every time I play it, honestly. Like, it's yeah. got story. Uh, it's got lore. It, it's got, you know, a bunch of fun little tidbits that you find along the way. Mm -hmm. A very robust crafting system. Mm -hmm. Um... Like, yeah, there's just so, so much to this game. Like, I would recommend anyone pick it up mm -hmm. in a heartbeat. And it's still early access. Like, it's it's still version, like, zero point something. Like, they haven't even... I think there's been, what, four updates to it? I actually don't know how many updates there have been. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there haven't been this. many. No, like, but the I just I just really love. I think it's it's such a good game. And honestly, <laughs> <clears throat> I think you know when I look at the couple of early access survival crafting games that I've played recently, I think this is one of the best ones. Um, yeah, it's certainly better. Like I not to diss Nightingale because I love I really have enjoyed Nightingale, but I think this is actually better. It, it was in better shape to release than Nightingale was. Mm. Nightingale is... <clears throat> it's a complex mess is the problem for me. Like, there's too many crafting Six stations. Six minutes left. I know, right? I, I love the fact that they want, you know, different resources to be able to give you different benefits mm. and stuff. And that that is, like, n nothing that I'm a stranger to because Galaxies did the same thing. But just... Like the the volume of it is, and the way you go about getting it is just a little overly complicated, in my opinion. Uh, see, now I I would respectfully disagree there, but that's I really actually like that aspect of the game. That's actually one of the things I really enjoy. the The problem is that it I think it is cumbersome with the. The, just the sheer amount of crafting stations you need to build. Um, yeah, I that's, think, that's my main complaint. I think it would make the, a lot more sense if you could just upgrade them. The combat system is not very fluid either. No. I agree with that. But I think Whereas, if, like, like, if, this, uh... Oh, go ahead. With, with like, Enshrouded, I don't know, the, the combat's just it's fluid. Mm. It, it's, mm. it's smooth. You, you know, the skill trees make it so that you can build a unique, uh you know, class to what you want to play. And, like, the, I've, I've not played very many games where you can put a ranged weapon on your, your on a quick access hotkey um, besides the hotbar. That, that is that is one of the really cool things that yeah, I like I, about this one. I like the idea of that, but I find myself never using it. But, yeah, but... I, did, I, I didn't really either until I wanted to be able to use two different bows, one for uh, sniping range and one for quick combat. And yeah. uh, so I've put my quick combat on the Q button and then my sniping range on the actual um, toolbar. Yeah. Because that way I can switch between them. But yeah. You were going to say FC? Um... <clears throat> I don't remember no. offhand. I'm sorry. Lost it. Yeah, I lost it. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Don't Nightingale worry. You're, and, you're fine. Nightingale and crafting resource, uh, crafting oh, resources, yeah. no, or I... the number of stations. Uh, yeah. Combat. What I would, what I would really love to see them do for Nightingale is to be able to upgrade the crafting stations instead of having to constantly build new ones. A new one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That would be good. <laughs> yeah. See, because, like, Star Wars Galaxies, oh, honestly, Galaxies still had, to this day, one of the most um, amazing crafting systems, in my opinion, for a MMORPG. Yeah. Because you had your schematics. You had, you know, you say you wanted to make the iconic DL-44 metal pistol that Han Solo uses. Mm. Um, any artisan that had gotten themselves to the rank of which that they could craft that, could craft that. But, 
there were components like barrels and uh, uh, handles mm -hmm. that had to go into it. And on top of the components that you had to have go into it, there was the resources that you built those components out of. It's very similar to how Nightingale does its crafting. The trick was that the way that Galaxies had you get the resources in a lot of ways um, mm. was prospecting. Uh, you went out with a scanner and you could track down, uh, like say you were looking for specifically copper mm. um, and you could, you could track down copper but the thing was, there was like six different, I don't, I don't exactly remember the number, but I'm just going to throw out six different versions of copper, each with their oh different God. tributes. Oh my, oh God. Each had different conductivity, uh, strength, um, all that kind of stuff. And they randomly rotated based on, you know, uh, uh, on, on what one was available at the time. So while there is, there might have been one copper that was the absolute best resource for making this DL44 metal pistol, you wouldn't have a consistent 100% way of getting it all the time. Oh my gosh. I mean... Now, once you, once you found the, the resource on the thing, you put down harvesters. That is the other thing. It was automated harvesters. You put down a building that would... You then put power into it. And uh, it would sit there and just churn out this resource the entire time that was there. The resources cycled, I think it was every week. So you could get a big stockpile, especially if you were one of the, uh, if you had the highest rank uh, harvesters, because they had small, medium, and large. Okay. And the large ones are exactly what they sound like. They, they were an industrial powerhouse of just stripping this stuff out of the ground. Now doesn't it, it wasn't one of those advanced type ones where it had voxels or anything like that can so i interrupt you for a second Sonia? yeah go ahead we got a countdown yep. nine eight seven <laughs> six five 